Holy Jesus, it's the eighth one of these. Well, I hope it helps you fall asleep or focus or whatever you guys use these movies for, but... <clears throat> it's a big, big compilation. All right, peace out. <sighs> Guys, if I can be totally honest right now, I'm really flattered that you think I know what I'm doing. Because I don't. <laughs> yeah, even for a second. Oh, to be around, little bird, and to say beep from time to time. The best times. There is no winner in D&D. Oh, you are so wrong, it's laughable. The winner is whoever can make the DM create the most new rules. And I will always win. Does the science side of Tumblr actually exist? Science side of Tumblr, what do you think? Protons! I'm glad you're thinking positively. I do not care if I reblog something I've reblogged before. My memory is weaker than lead in a mechanical pencil. If you signed up for my show, you signed up for some reruns too. I can, I can even say that about my own channel. This is gonna sound stupid, but I'm amazed at baby capybaras because they are truly are baby capybaras. There's so many animals, you guys, so many where the babies just look like tiny primordial creatures compared to the mature ones. But baby capybaras are just little, little capybaras. They just start out like that. Know what I mean? I do. Lowercase. Today I learned that wolf packs might exist because ravens eat so much of their meat. When one wolf kills a moose, 47% is lost to the birds, while a pack of six loses only 17%. The team witnessed a single wolf killing a moose 11 times, which weakened the notion that wolves hunt in packs because of difficulty. So wolves hunt in packs so they can plausibly tell carrion birds, I'm sorry, you can't stay with us, there's just, there's just no seat left. I'm sorry, but why did the wolf have to kill the moose 11 times? Won't it just stay dead? Have you heard of a zombie moose? No? Then thank your local wolves. Garlic Dead, why are you always so mean? Sorry, when I was younger, a Tumblr user pushed my mom off a cliff. Somewhere in the world right now, there is a cat making bread and purring. I need you to always remember that. Thank you, Gooey. Sometimes I think about how Token said golf exists in Middle Earth and then just never mentioned it again. Ever. Token, can we talk about it, please? The bar was so low, it was practically a tripping hazard in hell. Yet here you are, limbo dancing with the devil. OP, this is such a raw line. What the fuck? Damn, boy, she thick! Thoughtful, honest, interesting, caring, and compassionate! Look at it! Beautiful. You ever think about the kind of guy who makes a cursed amulet like, whoever puts this on is gonna have a nasty surprise. <laughs> Get a real hobby. <laughs> Cranky because you're cursed, aren't you? I throw a pies at tall people asks, how tall are you? Aha! Nice try, pie thrower. Five foot eleven. Get out of my house! So this thing right here, this is pretty handy for monster and creature recordings because hands-free, you don't have to worry about knocking in anything. It really helps you get into character a lot more. Observe. Yeah, easy as that. Oh, this idea is ridiculous, but here we go. Remembering the time I ate an entire loaf of pumpkin bread and my mom got so enraged she called me a little loaf-eating freak. If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. <laughs> my feet are cold. A professor asked if I prefer Miss or Mister because NB, and I accidentally said, Ya yeah, boy, without thinking. So now I have a professor that calls me Ya yeah, boy Rogers every time I see him. Uh, I'm not seeing the problem. I want to be a cat. Jobless, educationless, 
useless. They're to be pretty and soft. Ah yes, the reign of terror, commonly known as White Boy Summer. You ever dip your entire Oreo in milk except for the part where you're holding it and feel like this is dipping newborn Achilles into the river Styx, leaving him invulnerable everywhere except for his heel? Yeah. Today, a student emailed over a draft of his essay of 1984 and it clearly used a thesaurus on every single word. And how I know this is because the party slogan, Big Brother is watching you, had become, Enormous sibling is viewing you. And I laughed so hard. <laughs> Local mage runs out of mana and just starts hitting shit with her staff. Hmm. Good times. I finally fixed the problem. Restroom with urinal. Restroom without urinal. Where is your god now, Gender Rose? You used your Jones Fabrics gift card on snacks. The snacks in the front. That was for crafts. I gave it to you for crafts. Period. Apartment complex? I actually find it quite... Uh, no, no, well... Ah, uh, no, 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 yes. Yeah. I'm caught setting the Disney headquarters on fire, but it's okay. Because I actually have this tragic backstory where all my dreams got chased off a cliff by capitalism when I was a kid. Why did I make that guy semi-Australian? Watch a typical day like... I wake up. I malfunction. I call it a day. Why are logo so boring and minimal now compared to 15 to 20 years ago? It's because we have phones now. That's literally it. They have to be visible at one quarter of an inch. There, I saved you like an entire year's worth of design school. It's a wild dream of mine that one day you will read one of my dumbass posts, but it'd make my day if you did. I'd really love all the awesome stuff you do and I hope you have a lovely day slash night. Well, it's a weird dream to have. But maybe if I answer this ridiculously enough, Someone may submit it to me to read. Hmm. Minty giraffes. I shall now return to attempt to monkey. Becomes feral instead. Fuck! So before we start, I wanted to greet our new editor, Andy, who has taken on the job as long as I don't do that British accent video again. We're cool, right, Andy? Right? You're not gonna... Do anything bad to me, right? I own you! Okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, let's start the show. My four-year-old points to the label on my tea bag and says, What does that say? Me. It says over 300 years of experience. It means the people at Twinnings have been making tea for 300 years. <gasps> they haven't even died? Tea vampires. I think you mean immortality. You may live forever. But there is a steep cost. Hey, listen. In English, any noun can become a verb if you don't care enough. This point is invalid unless you use an example in your sentence. I... I can sentence how I want, thank... <gasps> Beautiful! You see, that's why I love English. I like to velociraptor around my house at two in the morning. Good! My headache makes me want to clothesline into a wall. Why do these make some semblance of sense? Because brains don't brain logically. Brains do brain logically, but when English doesn't logic Englishly, brain brains by itself to logic that English. I hate that this makes sense. Ugh, get off your high horse. The high horse. <laughs> you know, America can, but Amero shouldn't. Can this be our foreign policy from now on? Please? 2018 is the year we stop using kinks people don't want to see as punchlines and focus on what's actually funny. We'll start with the crab jungle. Ah, good old crungle. Jesus, this post is old. Are you available? Nah, no, sold out. Discontinued. Limited edition. Region locked. Like Mother 3. <laughs> How dare dare you? I am a big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Ah, <sighs> decadence. Oh, to be a mole in a dirt hot tub. Good morning. Just woke up from a lovely dream where Julius Caesar turned into a cat boy in a maid dress in order to avoid being stabbed. Keep going, LP. Why did... Why does this sound like something Fates would do? Does Fates have this character? Andy, does Fates have this character? Please look it up for me. No offense to gamers, but fuck Mario. 
He's not even a real plumber. <gasps> t t too far. He's a mass murderer, killing thousands of innocent Goombas and Koopas, and not to mention the millions of toads he slaughters. Y'all are forgetting his truest crime. Andy, put up the evidence of him killing Yoshi. You know, people say, you're autistic? Does that mean you take everything literally? And I'm like, nah, that's kleptomaniacs. Congratulations to Definitely Craig on being the funniest person alive! My school's rival school is on lockdown right now because someone put weed in the vents. So everyone's slowly getting high. Oh my god. I guess now you can call it a high school, man. <laughs> yeah. Clicking submit on my papers not because they're done, but because I'm done with them. Yeah, men kiss each other. I saw it in Google Images. I thought this was a command. <gasps> Men kiss each other. Let me be perfectly clear. Uh, oh, I, I see. Wait, wait, where's the rest of the fish? You ever notice how John Mulaney and Kronk have the same voice, but on different pitches? Try it, I dare you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Oh my god, wait, wait. How did you- Allow me to tell you a tale of a dragon who detached himself from the planet he once was. Many eons ago, there was a dragon and the planet he protected. They were one and the same. The life that sustained itself on that planet took everything for granted. They waged war on their resources. They tarnished the very forces they needed to survive. Their souls became tainted and twisted with hatred. The dragon was afraid that this was all his doing by providing the very things they fought so viciously for. As time wore on, so did the last breaths of that planet. The dragon, in a cowardice state, tried to free himself from the very thing he was. Before that planet disintegrated, he was able to set himself free, looking on in remorse, wondering if he was perhaps at fault. But that planet finally vanished. For many eons, that dragon soared across the universe, with no home, no protection, only themselves. To this day, they wonder if they regret their decision. And I tell you this tale now, little one, because I feel that the planet Earth itself has done a similar act upon itself. A very spirit who has detach themselves from the earth, whether to protect themselves from what the earth has done, or to run away from their mistakes. Only time will tell. My 19-year-old brother puts sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. I'll take six! Youth culture is feeling like if you don't succeed by 25, someone will literally come kill you. <laughs> I've never identified with something more than this. And it's gonna be the Duolingo Burdu. I swear Burdu really learned Spanish to save me! When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg, it ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean, at some point it does, yes. Then what's the problem? Andy, do you get any of this? Shout out to Bilbo for not initiating mass murder when the dwarves ate all of his food because if it was me, I would have ended the line of Durin over the small block of cheese. Never forget how close he came, though. That is the face of a person who wants to murder. I think this bird got confused when someone told him he belonged in the sky. He decided to be the sky instead. Oh my god, look at that baby! Since you are demisexual, does that mean you make god-like garlic bread? I is that... is that something we do?
Andy, Andy, H help me out here. Am I supposed to be doing that? D why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I'm a bun, I'm a bun, I'm a tasty, tasty bun to be baked and kneaded. Oh, how fun! Today I learned spiders don't have muscles in their legs. They extend them using a system of hydraulics powered by their blood pressure. When they die, spider legs curl up because the blood pressure is gone. Yeah, haters will see me moving via a complex system of hydraulics and be like, yo, he can't afford muscles. Dan and I bought a thing called Long ZD from the local weird bargain store. Largely as a joke, but I have never had a more unsettling pasta experience in my life. They wouldn't bend enough to cook from top to bottom simultaneously, and while they were cooking, boiling water kept spouting out from the tops of them out of the pot like a boiling pipe organ. Then they were so long and floppy and hose-like that we couldn't pick them up with anything other than tongs. And they were so long and unwieldy that it was basically impossible to sauce them without them all slithering out of the bowl like wet snakes. They then proceeded to cool down almost completely within the seconds it took to walk into the living room. Eating them was like eating a bowl full of half-melted drinking straws. Ah, yes. Real-life creepypasta. You know, in retrospect, Stranger Things is a very normal show. C can you explain? Mm, no. Hey, bye people. Behold, Boop69, 042069. Holy fuck! Oh yes, the four Hogwarts houses. Punch, lie, hug, and think. I... Yeah, pr yeah, pretty much. Oh look, Captain Idiot got himself stuck in a box. Oh, there he goes. Plotting escape. <laughs> Squishy. How about an animated sitcom about a Frankenstein-type character who lives with his reanimated friends in a spooky castle? It's called Making Friends. For it's wait, 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 scratch that. It's not just a Frankenstein-type character. It's just regular Victor Frankenstein. His first creation and best friend is called Monster, and he's the straight man normal person of the two while Victor is the wacky one. I need this. I need this. I need this in my life. I need to make it. Andy, copyright this right now. Do it for me. Go, 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 go. go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. 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 Rolls up to the animal shelter. Can I get a fucking uh, boneless bar? I creep around the house like a spooky little entity, standing in doorways and causing entire packets of briskets to disappear in the night. <laughs> and finally, the difference between wolves and coyotes. Wolves go, Ooh. Coyotes go, Making sure the mic works, making sure the mic works, making sure the mic works. Andy, please don't put this in. And I thought my jokes were bad. You know what? I trust him. Now, there's more than three fables on why you shouldn't. Have you ever thought about how weird sleeping is? Like, we basically dress ourselves in special sleeping clothes, and lay on special sleeping mats, then pretend the next few hours completely comatose, all while hallucinating vividly. S stop. 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 Uh, no. I can't. I can't deal with this right now. The phrase, this made me think of you, is my favorite thing someone can ever say to me. That said, Andy. I got you this rad frog with a tiny hat. Made me think of you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. He looks like he's about to write one of those me and intellectual posts. You bark. Me an intellectual. Hmm. Tree trunk. Today I learned a star discovered 75 light years away is no warmer than a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Youch! That's still pretty hot. Behold a rare render of Bowser from Mario Golf in the Nintendo 64. The Assad work was never released as a standalone image and can only be found in magazines and other third-party materials released around 1999. Look oh, at Bowser. He's just pointing at that ball going, Bull! I can domesticate him! Some ancient Egyptian staring at a cat circa 7500 BC. I think you mean some ancient cat staring at an Egyptian circa 7500 BC. Guys! Guys! 
You're both right. You ever open up a fic and barely a paragraph in, your whole body starts trembling with giddy excitement? The plot is exactly right, and the atmosphere and the voice are all soul-singingly good right at the very beginning, and you have to stop yourself from hooting like crazy old wizard because... Oh, oh, Ooh, this one's gonna be good. If Sans was non-binary, I guess you could say he's Sans gender. <laughs> Why do little kids get all the cool clothes? What if I want a shirt with a stegosaurus driving an excavator on it, huh? Why does the fashion industry not think about that? <sighs> High school is so funny in hindsight. The entire time you're there thinking it's the most important period of your life, and then the second you're out, you're like, well, that was fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember anything about high school. Except that I know it filled me with a lot of existential dread. Writing prompt. You don't have an angel or a devil on your shoulder. You have an angry viking and a 50s housewife. Uh, both are telling me to solve my problems with murder. The debate is over the method. Midwest emos scare the shit out of me. How the hell do you grow up in a cornfield and come out listening to mindless self-indulgence? What the fuck happened in that cornfield? Well, I can't speak on Midwest emos, but I can speak on upstate New York emos who also have cornfields. Andy, p put my face in a cornfield for this shot. There's nothing here. Everything sucks. I'd rather kill myself. Hey, yo, catch these hands! With your hands! We're holding hands now. This is nice. Oh, my god, I'm responsible for me. What have I done? You're telling me this article is bi? What's that? This former is trans too? It, it took me a hot second. Anyone else constantly on edge because we're in the final stages of late capitalism and these next couple of decades are gonna be make or break the Western world? And this just happens to coincide with the part of my life where I'm supposed to make something of myself? You know, you didn't have to say it with words. I agree. So that said, Andy, do me a favor. One last one for the video. Uh, give me a perfectly cut explosion right here and... What do you mean you don't imagine animations in your head every time you hear a good song? Uh, oh. Oh, indeed. Man, these 20s really ain't roaring, man. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sad. Shout out to all the people who identify with gifted kid burnout syndrome who are probably just neurodivergent but weren't diagnosed as a child who used to devour books like it was nothing and never really understood why the protagonist would leave their cool fantasy world behind to go back home at the end of the story and are now extremely disappointed in reality and use escapism as their primary coping mechanism. How's that bisexuality and deep-rooted anger at the school system going for you? Wow, excuse me. I didn't expect to be mentally stripped naked like a chicken in this corner of Wendy's. Excuse me. Why is it so small? It's a baby. Thank you, science side of Tumblr. Today I learned King James IV put twin babies on an island to see if the children would speak the language of Eden. Children developed a communication method, but the experiment failed because no one else knew what language of Eden sounded like. <sighs> the Middle Ages, everyone. So, I was talking to a boy today and called him dude, and he goes, Hey! Hey, whoa! I'm not your dude. I want to go by bro. And the very first thing that popped into my head was, Wow, he has preferred pronouns. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Andy? Andy? What would you like your preferred pronouns to be? After all these years, finally, we have them all. Yeah, I use this pro gamer technique called hitting every single button frantically with my little raccoon hands until something happens. You probably wouldn't get it. It's really, really advanced. Uh, that's how I play Genshin. Do you think that in like 40 years, teens will be calling the Supernatural finale extremely progressive for its time? I think in 40 minutes, I'll be outside your house with a knife. Thunder. Head smash. Gunk shot. Foul play. The real non-binary agenda. All right. Which one of you snitched? Who fucking did it? <sighs> Beach boys. City girls. Mountain goats. Hey, wait. 
Ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies a hyena took down the airplane. God, I would have loved to have seen that. I'm sure we all would have loved to have seen that, just to know what it was like. Andy, can you do me a favor? <laughs> I theorize that queer people might love the italicized O oh moment in romance novels and fanfics because we experienced it in real life when we realized we were queer. We've had that moment where all the pieces click together and suddenly everything makes sense. We stood dumbfounded as a ton of little things suddenly stand out blazing in hindsight. We realized how obvious it's been all this time and suddenly everything seems different and terrifying and wonderful. We've had that seismic shift, learning something that can never, ever be unlearned. And genuinely, the only thing you can really say is, oh, it's part of our love language and I will use it in every fanfic I write until I die. Good on you, user little star lost. Behold, water in the air captured at just the right timing to look like Mario jumping. What were the odds? I think you mean, what are the odds? No. Transing your gender, please do not turn off the console. <laughs> I turned off the console while my gender was being trans done like a fucked up corrupted gender. I tilted the gender cartridge in the console so it made my gender wiggle around in a humorous manner. <laughs> Try it. Tasty cookie warmed in Owen. No, 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 thank you, Owen. No, no, no. I feel like people do not fully understand how much life changed for our species between 1900 and 2000. I still struggle to comprehend it. These events are 66 years apart. To give some perspective, chariots were invented circa 2000 BC and were the fastest form of transportation known to man for around 3,800 years until the trains in the 1800s. Then 100 years later, we were flying, and 66 years later, we were on the moon. Sienna would be so proud of y'all. You ever see shit that just makes you think, I know I'm very online, but I'm not online enough for this one. Yeah. <laughs> It's called Reddit. ADHD is so funny. It's like being possessed, but with myself. Me, desperately. Can we please, please get something done? My inner demon, who is also me. Oh, the enjoyment I get from removing the wax packaging from a little cheese wheel is immediately aligned with entertainment zoo animals get when they have to solve a puzzle or get into a box to find a treat. I am just a simple ape, and the Babel Cheese people are my enrichment team. You know, I think about this post a lot. I talk about it a lot. It's to the point where, at work, when we don't like someone, we go, that person is not on my enrichment team. Because apparently the biggest insult we think is that the person is not successfully zooing us. I love it. You are not necessary to the broth. You give no nutrients to the broth. You do not season the broth. You bring no value to the broth. You are nothing. Enough. Get out of the soup. What? What? Andy, help me here. What? Well, then get out of the soup aisle. All right, you don't have to shout at me. There's more soup! What do you mean there's more soup? At the soup store! Why are you buying clothes at the soup store?! Fuck you! Actually, growing up is feeling like I turned 16 two days ago. I've been 18 for years. 15 years old seems so young. Wasn't I 15 just a few weeks ago? All my friends and I are still 12! I'm closer to 30 than to being a baby! I never got to be a kid! I never grew past 8! I can't talk to my mom. I want to sit on her lap forever. This week is going by so slow. An entire year has passed. I want to decide everything for myself. I need someone to tell me exactly what to do. <sighs> yeah, 
When I was younger, I never used to lick the yogurt off the yogurt lids because I saw a documentary once, and in it there were clips of bears rootling through people's bins. And one of them, a bear, found a yogurt lid and was licking the yogurt off. I would be like, this is for the bears, and scoop a little extra into the lids before I put them in the bin. Mom kept telling me, bears don't live here, but I kept doing it, just in case. And one day... The bears will thank you for your kindness. Hey, Yahoo Answers, how do we know you're not an AI or something? Because there is no intelligence on Tumblr, artificial or otherwise. Ow! Damn! Got him! Do you ever get a wave of nostalgia for a hyperfixation that's never coming back with the same sort of melancholy with which you mourn a lost childhood friend? Like, you consumed my every waking moment for six entire months, and now I have not thought about you in years. I miss that passion. Can can Tumblr stop being a mood, please? Just stop it. Stop. People who draw female dwarves and orcs skinny or petite, you're killing the world. Now, people who draw female dwarves and orcs large, fat, or muscular, you're nourishing the world and I'm in love with you. Skyrim is incredible because it's kind of like a game where you can kill like five extremely high-ranking members of the Empire and it changes literally nothing about the Civil War going on half an hour away. Bethesda loves to be like, well, you got choices. They don't do anything, but you got them. You! You get it! Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? Too late! Andy, show me into the void! A wishing well, but instead of granting your wishes, you put a coin in and it throws beach balls at your face. This is an idea. I do not take criticism. Yo, get in, loser. We're gonna admire moss and mushrooms in the forest. Oh, hell yeah! Homework? Decent grades? Oh, the Bible said Adam and Eve, not Adam and achieve. <laughs> Fuck, I almost spit everywhere. Look at this. Look at this happy ass fox! Oh my gosh! Those feces! If you become undead, you get another chance at gender. Assigned female at death. Oh, you mean a fad? My gender is not a fad, bitch! Hello, Karen. You constantly misgender your son. If you do not correctly identify each pride flag shown within five minutes, the automatic turret will misidentify you as a target. I'll pay! Change your URL. Fucking brilliant. Why do people say Jesus H. Christ? Like, what is his middle name? Lol. Hot dog! It's... It's Howard, you know? Howard be thy name. Hot dog! Imagine a horror genre video game where people keep asking you to hold their baby, and you have to fight off increasingly determined hordes of monsters without dropping it. I'm sorry, did you mean Yoshi's Island? Wait. 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 Wait, what? What? Behold the Tumblr blue through the years. Ah, yes, the computer illiteracy pride flag. A timeless classic. She guessed my favorite color first try. But between me and you, I don't even have a favorite color until she yelled out yellow. She was hella excited and smiling like a little kid. So I told her she was right, and I haven't seen yellow the same since. It's in everything, and I could probably live in it now. This is the cutest thing I've heard all day, stop! Bad joke time! It can be frustrating when people confuse aromantic with aromatic, but hey, you know what they say. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. First of all, how dare you! Yeah, at this point I'm holding myself together with glitter glue. I may be falling apart, but I am sparkly! <laughs> Panera has just released a line of swimsuits that say soup in huge letters on them. And I thought of you. Uh, Panera? Bread? Yeah. Finally. Clothes from the soup store. Andy, we did it. Oh my god. P put up a W in the corner. A nice reminder that a writer isn't defined by a number of words, lines, or paragraphs. Nor the amount of content they can provide in a given amount of time. Drabbles are valid, headcanons are valid, and you're an absolute angel for posting free content and feeding us so nicely. Mwah! I love you. <sighs> My poor little stupid.
stupid, pathetic bitch of a meow meow. How I love them. You know, you look short, but your vibes are tall and mighty like a gay tree. Ah, yes! What a mighty tree I am at five feet and two inches. Well, my girlfriend is only 4'11", so as far as she's concerned, I am a mighty gay tree. You know, that's tall for a bonsai tree. Do you want to fight? Your Honor, my ch- <laughs> I was about to say my child. Fuck. I'm sorry, Andy. Your Honor, my client could not have committed the murder as the victim had 28 stab wounds, but my client only had one knife. Why, yes, of course. We are so sorry for accusing you. Ah, it's okay. It happens all the time. You know what's better than a queen ruling a kingdom by herself? Two queens. Married to each other. Lesbian queens. I'm talking about lesbian queens. I don't mean to interrupt, but... Is that not Steven Universe, but with four lesbian queens? Please tell me if I'm right or wrong. Today I saw an old man wearing a shirt that said, Time to turn up the beat. Fuck yeah, you funky little gardener. How is piracy bad? It's sharing. And sharing is caring. It's because capitalists lose. If I were a drink, I'd be a cherry vanilla Coke. If you were a drink, what would you be? Everyone's like bleach or sewage. Ugh, please calm down, edgelords. You know, in reality, all the people who say they're like bleach or sewage, they are 110% strawberry Fanta. Indiana Jones? Bah, <laughs> more like Fedora the Explorer. I am deleting. <laughs> You'll never get to drive the Bolton Steel Tractor. Why even live? You know what? You're absolutely right. Andy, just do me a favor. Delete the whole video. Just blow it up or throw it out. Do something funny or sad or whatever. I don't, I don't care. Or just throw me into the molten steel tractor. Do something. You know, sometimes I forget I am a real person. This is such a weird thing, but I understand. Enters a maze in a video game, finds the right path on the first try, goes back and checks all the wrong paths for secrets, gets lost after doing that. I figured out that horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monsters. Crocky, looky there. That's a six-foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It really works. Yo, this plot is so thick, it might as well be a Pixar mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mass Effect, Legendary Edition, is very... It's big. <laughs> you know, like, okay. Butch Hartman caused Call Me By Your Name, and I hope he loses sleep over it. You can't just sucker punch us with that knowledge and not explain what you mean. All right. Little Nas X made Call Me By Your Name. Little Nas X claims Danny Phantom was his gay awakening. Butch Hartman made Danny Phantom. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've heard all day. I don't know what to do with this information. Andy, help me. What are your thoughts on the... Fundamentally against it. You! Go make things. Like, what, a sandwich? A whole ass novel? Revolution? Yes! You heard the rulers of hell! Make a novel about the sandwich revolution! Are they seafood dip? Does that count? Absolutely! I never felt the phrase, one foot in the darkness and the other in a Hello Kitty roller skate, more potently than a couple hours ago, when I listened to a podcast cop getting torn apart by a monster crab, while also playing Cookie Run. Damn, that's a good quote. You ever think about what absolute mad decadence we live in? That vanilla means plain? Considering it's one of my favorite flavors, YES! The most fucked up fact about Evangelion is when it's revealed that the giant robots are actually really big regular guys and the red stuff that comes out of them when they get hit isn't cooling fluid or whatever. It's like actual human blood. And the second most fucked Evangelion fact is that Shinji's Netflix VA has a car cat themed Twitter account. 
<laughs> Casey, I told you I'd do it. Yo, are you okay? Bro, I just spent my entire day opening and closing the same three apps. Don't ask me if I'm okay. Mood. The human spine is a joke. Why do my shoes affect how much my back hurts? I'm gonna kill ya. I've been trying to leave Rome for a few weeks now, but all their roads have this weird design flaw. Hmm, Hotelius Californium. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Being on Tumblr is like being a raccoon. I dig through the garbage for shiny things I like. Sometimes I find good things to share with my friends. Sometimes I find something horrifying and also share it with my friends. I hate that I do this to you, Andy. I'm sorry. Rejection-sensitive dysphoria is fucking wild. Someone will be like, hey, just so you know, the thing you did was a little loud or uncomfortable or insensitive, but it's okay, I know you didn't mean it. And my brain will instantly translate, you should be shot. All right, that's it. I told Tumblr to stop being a mood, and you pushed it too far. Andy, blow up the video. For real this time. All right, chaps. Hang on to your niggas. <laughs> They weren't expecting that shit. <laughs> I've discovered a fourth primary color and now I'm being hunted by agents of the color yellow who murdered my best friend and roommate, guilty of no less. These agents are very sneaky. They left a note inside my lotion that said, Snitchies get itchies. Oh, it's difficult. Until the planet is saved from yellow, I'ma be on the run. Seriously, anyway, I've got some super duper exciting news for you. I've discovered a new primary color that's existed since forever. It's called Stygian Birthday Cake, and it's produced by drowning fourth walls in a stallion cream cheese. So there you have it, the secret sound, shrugs. I'm pretty sure that every wizard in the world has a different interpretation of magic. Some wizards think that magic is science, and other thinks that magic is real. But I think it's all about profit. Nothing but fat stacks and straight up gains. Ever since I saw Governor Andrew Cuomo's nipple rings on TV, I've always wanted to be a famous comedian. I thought I'd eventually meet a person who'd teach me everything. I reached out to famous people like Ricky Gervais, Ricky Martin, Nick Cave, Nicolas Cage, and Nicholas II of Russia. But all I got in return was bopkiss. I'm not sure how to get to the bottom of things. There's a saying in comedy lore. If you want to be John Gotti, you have to kill people. Pay attention, emotionalities. This conversation's gonna get very weird. AI, or the underlying intelligences, is a brown and yellow paroxysm of idiocy rife with wordplay and comical parables. You may respond by laughing or slurring your words, but do not be duped. I'll make a big deal out of nowhere, and instead she'll keep me telling you that diamonds are special. If at any point you begin to falter or have qualms about the subject, I won't disappoint. AI is a character. Each life she has lived as a separate person, and we were in a surrogate mother. So be prepared for lots of blue tears. If you have concerns, I understand. Just don't be alarmed. Just be grateful for the help that she's willing to help. I'm a golden retriever. A golden retriever with unrivaled poise and confidence. Unparalleled hustle. Master of shadows and fine lines. Be doubt it! I'm the most powerful canine hound in the world. I'm a two-star general or something. I literally do nothing but chase the hounds of New England. Like almost every other dog, I have double power. Triple power. But that's not even the best part. There are some things that only the hounds of New England have power. There are things that only the hounds of New England have jaw strength. And I'm going to teach you something real quick. Every time you see a dog bite someone, you become a father figure to a whole new generation of ballers. I can't get enough of nutrition. Amino acids? Yep. But as always, you have to remember that taurine is the amino acid that football players need. It's the king of lower body proteins. It's the muscle building stuff. So if your muscle memory is being a YouTube user, you gotta make sure to jiggle the boogeyman. Don't be a WTF ender. Everything else pales in comparison to the raw power of releasing your boogeyman. Yep, it's like dark chocolate in reverse. The fuck did I just read? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Time to check out what Tumblr's been up to. Oh, crap. That's right. We blew it up. Um, Andy? I hate to be that guy, but can you... Can you help me put it back together, please? Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Crabs are so gentle. 
They can be so kind in their claws. Precise little things. So careful in the sand. So careful with food. They do what they must to live and wave their claws to express their joy to the world for giving them so much to them. For giving such kindness to these creatures known as crabs. Please be gentle to crabs. <clears throat> I was on a new sleep medication last night. But you were right. I think midwives deserve more respect. They really help people out. You know, at first I thought this was actually a midwife appreciation post and didn't even realize it was a pun. <sighs> I guess it's all in the delivery. <clears throat> Sir, that is too big a bite. Don't tell him what to do. He is causing a scene. Yeah, 2000 was 21 years ago. Bruh, 21 was 2000 years ago. Bruh! Girl boss? Nah, girl union and girl strike. <laughs> Gorilla warfare, you come into my house, you eat my food, and this is how you show your respect. By being funnier than me on my own post. Disgusting! I read that capsaicin makes your mouth feel like it's burning because it increases your nerve sensitivity to heat, and menthol works by doing the same thing to cold. So if I eat a habanero pepper and then chew a bunch of breath mitts, they'll even each other out and I'll be fine! Hey, <coughs> guess what hellfire tastes like? I am a bar of soap and God is an Instagram girl with acrylic nails and a box cutter. The this post means something, and I'm afraid to find out. And Andy, I can't even ask you to find out for me because I don't want to know. Oh, fuck yeah, this is the shit. Kill me now. I'm so scared of 2020. Something seems to be frightening about this year. It's going to be Y2K all over again. The Black Plague is going to come back. I swear, I fucking swear. Date of origin, 3rd of December, 2018. Apollo, calm down with the gift of prophecy. If a single teacher can't teach all the subjects, then how do they expect a single student to learn all the subjects? Fuck! This may be the smartest post on Tumblr. Yeah, they're right. How do... How do... Fuck! Fuck! May your soul be ever grown with moss. May your veins fill with rainwater and your lungs swell with flowers. Yeah, was this a curse or a blessing? Because either way, lay it on me, boys. I believe you mean, give me the peep, boys, and free my soul! I can't mansplain, manipulate, man -whore my way out of this one, boys. Manslaughter it is, then! Ah, when the bard multi-classes into barbarian. Fascinating. Behold a honey buzzard flying away with a piece of honeycomb. Return the slab! Am I the only one whose internet addiction started with my parents not letting me fucking go anywhere? And then they started complaining about me not going out anywhere. And now when I go out, they complain I'm never home. Where is the lie? Hey, do you have any skeletons in your closet? Before I answer that, should I be concerned with your username? Mr. Skeleton Fucker 69? Okay, y'all know Furbies, right? The annoying little fuckers that never stop laughing. Those guys? They're banned from most Korean military bases because they've got cameras and recorders in them. I'm sorry! <laughs> what did you just say? Tumblr should add polls. It would get batshit insane so quickly and I ought to be here for it. You weren't a well-behaved child. You had anxiety and were terrified of conflict. We know, but hey! Joy is stored in not knowing who the fuck internet celebrities are. Gun to my head, I couldn't name a single Minecraft YouTuber, and I genuinely think that accounts for at least 70% of what little inner peace I possess. At 20s, I wish I knew your euphoria. I wish I did. I like this one. Five years ago, I was a fucking mess. And now I'm a fucking mess, but at peace with it, and with a cooler fashion sense. Tumblr, I, f I blew you up before. I will do it again. Stop being a mood. Stop it. Stop. Give me something else. All right, everyone, get the fuck up! New frog has been discovered! Woo! My dad got very excited because he thinks my frog looks like this biscuit. 
I mean, he kind of do, though. Help me, I am trapped in a haiku factory. Save me before they... I got your message. I have snuck my way inside. Oh my god, what the- It's very difficult to create realistic timelines in your story when you're struggling to figure out how long a week usually is. Yeah! My psych teacher has a poster in her room that says, Every time you call your boyfriend, Daddy. Sigmund Freud's ghost grows a little bit stronger. And if that isn't threatening, then I don't know what is. Hey, sometimes I write that in my text so people read it like a pirate. Well played, Gladium. Well played. I know some naughty words that'll really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well then I know some caring words that will put socks on you. <gasps> oh my god. Documented cases of feral children. Raised by primates, raised by wolves, raised by dogs, raised by bears, raised by sheep, raised by cattle, raised by goats, raised by ostriches, raised by the French. Watch out for that one over there. He's that homeboy. You've heard about mom friend and dad friend. Now get ready for grandpa friend, trademark. Almost always grumpy. Bad at showing affection, but cares about their friends a lot. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat it? Often reminisces about their youth, even though they're probably only in their 20s. Alternatively, kids these days. Too old for this shit. See above. Totally not down with the youth. Bad back and everything else hurts too. And likes to complain. Listen, you had no right to call me out like this. I didn't want to be the grandparent friend. I don't think Andy wanted to be the grandparent friend. I don't even think any of our friends wanted to be the grandparent friend. But here we are! What? Sure, he's a little rusty around the edges, but old Patrick is a classic showstopper like me. <laughs> huh? ah, kill it! Kill it! A gender. Did you mean a gender? No, that is the opposite of what I wanted. Um, just so you know, JFC, which you use in a lot of the tags in your posts, is an abbreviation for Jesus fucking Christ. And you probably shouldn't use it if you're not a Christian. I can't believe I read this with my own two eyes. You ever just submit something thinking, fuck it, I don't care anymore. But then five seconds later, you realize you actually care very, very much and are seized by gripping anxiety. Yeah! I've got a date with destiny and it ain't gonna end with a kiss. It's such a raw quote, and I cannot believe it came from a Phineas and Ferb episode about hunting a giant metal whale with harpoons made of toilet plungers. As a procrastinating overachiever, I feel like I don't necessarily half-ass things. It's more like a three-quarter ass. Like overall, did I do pretty well? Yeah. Did I reach my maximum potential though? I think the fuck not. I like the little map on DoorDash because you can watch your delivery driver completely miss your address in real time. Daniel, you're going in the completely wrong direction. Let me help you, Daniel. Daniel, I'm hungry. I'm opening my mouth like a baby bird, Daniel. Daniel, why? Andy, we have to help them. Uh, bring Daniel to their house now, quickly, before they die. Today I learned the reason why we view Neanderthals as hunched over and degenerate is that the first skeleton to be found was arthritic. Way to fuck it up for your whole species, you fucking idiot! Hey, it's Hershey! We already got our first exciting fan letter! Let's see what it says! It's from Forrest! You suggested that we should delete our account on July 17, 2021. Well, Forrest, I have a suggestion for you! On July 17, 2021! I suggest you start running. What? Oh god. <laughs> Forrest, run! Answering gender questions from himbos on Tinder is my favorite pastime. And with you being non-binary, say you're going to go to jail. Can you now pick it, you go to the men's or women's, or is it just more like a co-ed situation? That's a fair question, Josh, and the simple answer is, no jail can hold me. We're just limitless like that. Seriously, though, like, I miss the boat on this whole radical honesty thing. I guess everyone now wants to be true to themselves now. I mean, that's great, but, like, you're really ever going to meet a select few people you can totally be honest with about anything. Lie to strangers. Lie to authorities. 
Like, damn, didn't you have parents that told you never to tell people on the phone that you were home alone? When the interview asks if you ever experimented with drugs, just say no. This is not a therapy session. He's got no business asking you that anyway. Lots and lots of people are not entitled to your vulnerability. I follow my grandmother's rule. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Right there. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Guys, guys. Hershey. Hershey's been... We killed! Oh my god. Forrest, what did you do? You know, pretty awful how baseline human activities like singing, dancing, and making art got turned into skills instead of being seen as behaviors. So now it's like the point of doing them is just to get good at them and not, this is a thing humans do the way birds sing and bees make hives. I know I've posted this before, but it bears repeating. This is a thing humans do. You do not have to be good at it to enjoy it. You're absolutely right. So with that said, there's a lot of singing in this episode. I apologize to all of you. I apologize to Andy. I hope I don't break any of your ears. Mom said it's my turn to hand out the ominous and vague warnings. That wasn't Mom. They just said it was their turn. Dirty is a concept invented by British imperialists to keep you from enjoying God's nectar. Swamp water. Stop drinking the swamp water, Pucket Joe. No pain, no gain. You would not believe your arms if 10 million car alarms blurred into the night as you tried to sleep. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, eat that chip off the ground. Okay, just so we're all clear, it's okay to miss people you no longer want in your life. This is so important. Some people genuinely have trouble with never being told this. I am reblogging this post in case that includes any of you in my audience. You're missing the memories, not the person themselves. You miss the person you thought they were, not who they turned out to be. And that's okay. My ex-wife still misses me. But her aim is getting better! Glitch only speedruns. If you play the game as intended at any point, you're disqualified. Does it count if I play Skyrim on a phonograph? <laughs> okay, I imagine some dragons. Now I... Do, I... do I have to get radioactive next? Every breath you take Burning at the stake Artificial lake Asian coral snake I'll be watching you Thought I saw a shooting star, but the neighbors above me are flicking cigarette butts out of the window. What housey song is this? <laughs> Fuck, I'm not prepared for this one. <laughs> give me, give me a minute. <clears throat> it's a cold and it's a broken hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. I can't finish the rest of this. Andy, take it from here. I'm kidding. You don't have to do that. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they cannot withstand my aura. I get it. Hey, you reading this? You princess. And I don't care if you're a goddamn bodybuilder. You're now princess protein. And I love you. Mwah. Hey, Pocket Show, do you have any regrets? Absolutely. Thanks for the ask. People run from rain, but sit in bathtubs full of water. Charles Bukowski. Wow, Bukowski, so profound. Do you also bathe fully clothed, you dickhead? Oh, isn't it so funny that a person will eat when they're hungry, but will duck if you throw an apple at their face? Fuck you, Charles Bukowski. Your last name sounds fucking ridiculous. Pretty fucking close to Bukowski. Oh, cool, some new astronomy news. What's good, Astro... <laughs> Astronomers discover new tadpole-shaped galaxy. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Y'all missed this part of the article. That group, the scientists say, is far from a settled system. All the members of Hickson's Compact Group 98 are expected to merge into a single galaxy in about one billion years, at which time, presumably, the extragalactic tadpole will turn into a cosmic frog. <laughs> Andy, pack your bags. We're gonna go hang out with Cosmos Frog. Hey, here's a curse fact. You're always eight feet away from a spider. 
And here's a fun fact. I am the spider. <sighs> Referring to things in real life as canon is so fucking funny. <laughs> oh, fuck. I hope what I did last night wasn't canon. Can't wait for Tumblr to roll out Tumblr Plus, the premium website membership. For only $9.99, you can enjoy classic Tumblr features such as a functional website. Since Tumblr has hinted at a paid-for version of a recent survey, it's time to bring back my possibly future-predicting post. Stop it, Chance Mom, stop it. Stop. Don't, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Date of origin, August 29th, 2017. Stop it! Archaeologists have discovered a 3,200-year-old mural of a knife-wielding spider god in Peru. Stop! Every word in this title is better than the one before it. I can't handle anymore. Hey, bestie, come closer. <laughs> I'm totally not going to drag you into my obscure interest, bestie, I promise. This is me hiring Andy as my video editor. <laughs> I'm so tired, I could eat a horse. I identify as a horse and this offends me. Well, I identify as a fence and this horse is me. I offend horses. Identify me? I think the main question here is why would you eat a horse if you were tired? Raw wrong, wrong! The real question you should be asking is why is the user's name handle M. Bregbert? Oh, I must a sewing job be good. Is it not enough that I stab the fabric with a tiny needle many, many times? Something hilarious about this coming from Julius Caesar official. How did you hear about this job? It came to me in an extremely vivid and unsettling prophetic dream. C Congratulations, you're hired. I know. I did a lot of things, and half of those things will in fact be my downfall eventually. Was anyone else afraid to close their eyes in the shower as a kid for fear the shower might start pouring blood instead of water? Uh, you, you okay? You okay? Do you need do you need, do you need a soda? Here, here's a soda. Take take this soda. It is pitch black outside and someone is mowing their lawn. Power move. Update. The someone is my father. Does he have a flashlight? Dad, did you have a flashlight? No. How how did you see? Moon. I think people with interests are disgusting. Your hobbies okay? Are you personally enjoying it? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Ugh, gross. Notice! Due to a lack of cicadas so far this summer, I will climb the trees and scream in their absence. You think you could replace them? You really think you would sound half as good? How dare you stand where he once stood? Oh, 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 you don't think I could do it? You don't think I could do it? Andy, put me up in that tree right there. I got this, I got this. <coughs> How's that? Hey, how many toes you got? You mean in my mouth, or? Hmm, blocked. Have a horrible day. I could look it up, but it's more fun asking friends, gang. There's probably an objective answer for this, but let's see if someone has a rat locked and loaded group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, is that not just Unicomics? A homeless guy just said to me, Do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny? And that is the most profound shit I have ever experienced. I asked my old science teacher this and he said, I make jokes to make myself laugh because I know I'm funny. Found the dad. Sir, that's my emotional support found family trope. Don't touch it. People are always like, are you a morning person or a night person? And I'm just like, buddy, <laughs> I'm barely even a person. Minecraft Enderman be like, It's fun for me just to grab a cube. <laughs> I got this one right here. Puggy, some hundred-year-old dude keeps harassing me about being a sugar baby. Please help, almighty god of Tumblr. Ask him if he's widowed, and if yes, tell him you're the one who killed his wife. And if he's not? Tell him you're gonna kill his wife. What is the appeal in thigh-high socks? How do you live? Who... Fucking necromancied you from the ground and commanded you to not enjoy anything. You fucking waste of my time and breath and space. Get the fuck out of here. You can't comedic slapstick misunderstanding your way out of this one, Mr. Chaplin. Me five minutes later stepping out of garbage can. Damn you, Charlie! What's a gender neutral word you could use for your spouse? Wasband? Hi? Weisband? Um. Uh, I may be stupid. This is the text version of looking for your glasses when they're on your head. This is our fault, guys. 
We were Icarus, and all those posts about Tumblr being the best social media site was us making a beeline for the sun. We brought this on ourselves. Our clown shoes are on fire, and we are plunging towards the sea with our red noses honking sadly in the wind. That paints quite an image. If only there was a super-duper editor that I loved with all my heart who could make that happen for me. Please? This is our fault, guys. We were Icarus, and all those posts about Tumblr being the best social media site was us making a beeline for the sun. We brought this on ourselves. Our clown shoes are on fire, and we are plunging towards the sea with our red noses honking sadly in the wind. Hey, if Kirby eats the communion wafers, does he become the new messiah or just gain Jesus' powers? I don't think you understand how Eucharist works. ANSWER THE QUESTION! Tiny little dragons in tiny little wagons Drinking little beers from their tiny little flagons That was beautiful, man. Sometimes it physically pains me to hold back my sarcastic comments. Hey, Yahoo, I'm a lesbian. Girl's pretty. Well, then why am I bi? Everybody pretty. All right, social experiment time. Who is this? Wrong answers only. An Eva, Willy Wonka, or humanized Bill Cipher, but green? A cool person. An environmentalist. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. Well, that or Loki. Nature gave us food. Lasagna, cookies and cream, hot pockets, jelly ranchers. Why are we not eating it? Wait, you guys don't eat this? When you scratch a cat's chin and they lift their head up, reblog if you agree. When you scratch a cat's cheek and they lean their head into your hand, reblog if you agree. When you put your hand in front of your cat's face and they gently headbutt you, reblog if you agree. When your cat just runs a little bit faster to get to you, reblog if you agree. <laughs> cats, reblog if you agree. All right, listen. Girls can be handsome. It's all about vibes. Similarly, boys can be pretty. Handsome and pretty aren't gender adjectives, and I will fight someone on this. Handsome in the statue sort of way, and pretty in the starry sky sort of way. Alternatively, handsome in the jawline sort of way, and pretty in the eyelashes sort of way. If asked to defend these answers, I couldn't. But the vibes. Yes, yes, exactly. When the moon hits your eye like a big yellow light, Tesla, slow down. <laughs> Good job, Sienna. I'm so proud of you. Thinking about the Discord ad with Danny DeVito? Why? Yo, I can't believe you don't want Bofa. What's Bofa? Bofa, my arms wrapped around you in a loving hug. Come here. Ugh, RGB gaming setups are so gay. Why do you want rainbow lights everywhere, huh? To show your pride for loving other men? I'm sending this to my brother. Tell him I'm proud of him for coming out of his glass closet. He says the anime girl stickers on his PC cancel out? Okay, bisexual king. Good for him. What is the medical name for an almost irresistible impulse to throw an egg into an electric fan? Binghamton News, New York, November 27th, 1925. I don't know, but it's definitely transmissible because now I have it. Well, there's only one way to solve this remedy. Andy, throw an egg into a fan. Not Amy's egg, though, she'll cry. Egg. I don't have the patience to organize my music into playlists. I just put Apple Music on shuffle and hope to God that none of the Glee songs start playing. I literally downloaded every single Glee cover in existence. It takes up over half of my playlist. In my defense, I was really out of it mentally and I Everyone's got that one buddy who's an imp who torments them with demonic energy. <laughs> it's me. It's you. It's me! Goodbye! You're so quiet, what's wrong? I'm creating my own fantasy world to escape from reality, so shut up! I love student housing. 
I'm in the common room waiting for a friend and there's some dude crying on the couch with a bunch of his friends around him and I could only hear bits and pieces, but someone asked him, who gets the Minecraft server if you guys break up? And he started crying harder and a third person reached over to smack the guy who asked it on the back of the head. God, I miss college dorms. Hey, remember that thing we talked about last video of Kirby could gain Jesus' powers? So, here we go. There's a follow-up. There are a lot of reasons why Kirby cannot receive the Eucharist fully. One, he is not human. Only those with rational human souls are capable of partaking in the Eucharist. Kirby being a Pokemon means he is not human and does not have a human soul, even if he has a soul at all. I'm sorry, hold on. Kirby is a Pokemon? D two. Those who cannot understand the Eucharist cannot partake. This means children too young to understand we are not permitted to do so. They can receive a blessing instead. And three, the Eucharist is not a magic pill. Jesus was given his abilities through God. If Kirby were to receive any special powers, it would be because God permitted it. If one was to take the Eucharist while not in a state of grace, nothing outward would happen. There would be no smiting. But it would be like watering a desert without seeds. None of the virtues already inside of a person would be strengthened. It is impossible to receive it if taken by someone not in a state of grace. Okay, but counterpoint, Kirby is in fact not a Pokemon. I'll oh, see Wolfbat's got my back here. Also, he is considered sentient in all canons, AFIK, and that normally indicates having a soul. He can also communicate, understand concept, explain to him. Kirby can 100% take the Eucharist. Notice how I said a human rational soul? We do not know if animals or other beings have souls for sure, or if their souls are the same as ours, meaning Jesus is their savior. If Kirby does have a soul, he would have his own messiah, and that messiah's Eucharist, however that may look, would be the only way Kirby could partake. Hope that clears things up. <sighs> so sorry, what the fuck's going on here? Well, Pope Francis disagrees. If, for example, tomorrow an expedition of Martians came, and some of them came to us, here. Martians, right? Green with that long nose and big ears just like the children paint them, and one says, but I want to be baptized, what would happen? The Roman Catholic Church leader theorized, as reported by Vatican Radio, in his speech, focus on the question, who are we to close the doors to the Holy Spirit? He said that baptism is open to everyone, and reminded the audience of the words of Peter. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? <sighs> Kirby isn't a Martian. Oh, so we're being picky and choosy with which extraterrestrials can partake? Sounds like you just got some beef with Kirby. In fact, Andy, get Terminal Montage's Kirby. Smite his ace. Okay, I'll bite. Go straight for the jugular. <laughs> wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. But I'm a vegan. Well then, wakey wakey, vegetables and sadness. It feels like deeply maladaptive that the human body's response to intense hunger is to feel nauseous. Like, what was the goal there? Stomach's just like, okay, I'm hungry, so you're gonna barf so I get more hungry. I hate the term spinal fluid. It conjures up horrible imagery in my mind. Lightly taps this spigot I've attached to my spinal column. Come get y'all juice! We've never met, and I hope it stays that way. This is the most powerful reply I've ever received. The internet was a mistake, but the amount of fondness I feel for all the friends that I carry around in my pocket with me was not a mistake. Andy? You don't have to put this part in, but Andy, thank you for being my pocket friend and working so damn hard on these videos. You really put in 110%, and I cannot thank you enough for what you do to me. Thank you. Ha! Pee pee poo poo. Pocket dragons, pocket dragons. Pocket dragons, they're brave as they can be. They're small, but what you get isn't always what you see. This post gets more than 20 notes. You can call me an entertainer of sorts. A comedian, if you will. I'm now certified in the art of entertainment. Entertainment. Elf androgyny and dwarf androgyny and orc androgyny are three very different forms of androgyny and defiance of the binary and they're all so good. Elf, everyone's pretty but has no ass. Dwarf, everyone's hairy but has no ass. Orc, everyone's shredded and can crack walnuts between their cheeks. Meanwhile, goblin androgyny, you're small and horrible and you're pretty certain that gender was a kind of beetle you ate last week. 
Hey, remember when the poison status was intense as fuck and you had to rush your poison Pokemon to a Pokemon Center and the game would make that awful fucking noise that would make you feel bad for allowing such a thing to happen to your Pokemon? I have nightmares about it, man. It drives me crazy how humans are just meant to hold each other. How come when you hold someone's hand, your fingers just perfectly lock with theirs? How is it that when you hug someone, your face fits just right in the crook of their neck? How can your hands cup someone's face like that's their only primary function? It cannot be coincidence that our bodies are fully capable of holding another. We were designed to love. Good post, OP. It's good shit. Listen, women be weaving. You're not me, I'm too busy longing for girls. Not if sweet Aphrodite has anything to say about it. I love it when people repost funny TikToks here. I'm never downloading that stupid fucking app. You are my little messenger pigeons. Men has no need for the nine to five work day. You know what man does need? Chickens, a food garden, ample time for hobbies slash creative endeavors, a picnic basket, and various jams. And two hats for weather. Did a hobbit write this? The hobbits had it right. The microbes inside me are pleased by my yogurt offering. I live another day. That's so creepy, but why are they so right? Knuckle tats that say firmware. Brother, you're overdue for an update, and I'm about to start installing. Today's aesthetic, gritting your teeth through Skyward Sword's janky swordplay because it's the only mainline Zelda title where Zelda and Link's relationship is explicitly romantic, and damn it, if you gotta bleed for it, you will. I just wanted to see them hug or kiss, God damn it! If we really boil down Journey to the West, isn't it really the meme reject humanity return to monkey? Stop booing! I'm right! Unintentional newt slander. Intentional newt slander. Wait, we're talking about actual newts, right? Unfortunately, no. Shit! I can hear my brothers talking in the hall and one of them was like, No, bro, trust me, I have the leg strength of a fucking orca whale. And the other was like, Whales don't have legs, idiot. They do have hip bones, though, because evolution decided at some point swale well, with legs would be a good idea. Oh, why the fuck? But it did. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my web series about a pansexual and an asexual who are roommates. Oh my god, they're tomatoes. No! I'm in roommates! My fucking iPhone sliding keyboard hates me! Oh my god, they are tomatoes. Oh, I can already see where this is going. People who subscribe to my Tumblr will receive exclusive access to my hidden veggie tales lore. I fucking knew it! An enemy is just a friend I haven't worn down. Are you saying that you're the main character of a kid's cartoon? I'm saying that I'm going to be friends with you is both a promise and a threat. Oh. Twilight, but instead of a dramatic reveal about how Edward's a vampire, Bella just shows up to class one day and slides a copy of Dracula across the table to see what happens. She autographs him, slides him back. How dare you hide this comedy gold in the tags? Does anyone else remember Tack and the Power of Juju? Remember how hard Nick tried to make it a thing? Like, Tack was put in everything, it was treated as a main Nicktoon, but no one really got into it and he was just wiped off the face of the earth? Little did you know, he got rebranded. Think about it. Tech, a character we were trolled into thinking was a Nicktoons character. Now look at Neck, an actual troll. Tech, Neck, put it together, people. Donkey was right. Neck is truly a masterpiece. Okay, but whose idea was it to get Tom Hiddleston, a classics graduate, to get into character as Loki and stand on a go-kart in Pompeii yelling to all the inhabitants about their impending doom in Latin? Because honestly, that seems kind of like Christmas and a birthday combined level of treat for him. I'm feeling dangerously affectionate today. One might even say... Soft. Ah yes, soft. The Tumblr's version of thirsty, probably. I don't know. Sometimes ADHD is making schedules you know that you're not going to follow, but you're optimistic about trying anyway. Shut up, Danny! Am I going into this knowing I'm doomed to fail? Yes! Specific favorite dynamic is depressed person and the immoral but funny parasite monster slash alien they're host to. Ratatouille. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, yeah. 
So you're telling me in the span of 24 hours, thousands of staff bots have taken over Tumblr less than a week after this website asked us to trust it with their money? Ooh. I hate when people say why or why not. The reasoning for my thinking should not have to be explained to you, mortal. The inside of my mind shall remain a mystery. Andy put up a gif of the milk spilling like, like Patrick, you know, the little one. You may be an open book, SpongeBob, but I'm a bit more complicated than that. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. Egg recipe. Difficulty, egg. Time, egg. Ingredients, egg, eight whole egg. Step one, put egg on plate. Step two, look at all those egg. Step three, congratulations. You made egg. Sometimes you can pick up a cat and hold it, and it may make noises at you. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. That is the 50-50 jaw of cat. A limerick. Doesn't look like a limerick to you? Try this. A dozen, a gross, and a score, plus three times the square root of four, divided by seven, plus five times eleven, is nine squared, but not a bit more. What the heck? Heck, 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 heck! Poetry is not meant to be used like this! Aliens has everything you need in a horror movie. Body horror, anti-capitalism, cocky butch with a big gun, cool robot dude, and plot-relevant forklift certification. And aliens. Oh, fuck, shit, I forgot it also has aliens. One time I fell asleep with a half-eaten bag of chips on my chest, and while I was napping, one of my cats jumped up on me and chewed up the bag and sent the chips flying everywhere. And a bit later, I woke up completely covered in shredded bag and chip pieces, and the last thing I remembered, I had started eating some tasty chips. So for a short while, I was convinced I had blacked out and got into some sort of uncontrollable chip frenzy. I mean, wouldn't you? Sounds about right. I know I just called you dude, but I'm trying to flirt with you, right? Andy? My dude? Dude? By the way, I'm pro-quitting. This is a quitting positive space. If you're doing something and you decide, I don't like this, or I don't want to do this, then you should quit. Quitting is awesome. Grinding only works in video games. I quit all the time. It's great. Embrace the power of, you know what, fuck this, and see how it can improve your life. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? As an archaeologist, I find this a very awkward question. Answer the question, grave robber. Ugh, of course you're a Leo. You know what? Y'all don't get to have stars anymore. I'm putting them up on the shelf until you can learn how to use them correctly and navigate back to Spain or some shit. Fuck you. Carpe diem, seize the day. Carpe noctum, seize the night. Carpe notum, seize the ass. Seriously, if you guys don't stop reblogging this, I'm going to carpe someone's neck and break it. Carpe column, seize the neck. <coughs> hey, is there anybody free tonight? I want to check out the bottom of the ocean, but not alone. You know, once you step into the ocean, you're no longer alone. And that's a threat. Uh, oh. Okay. The moon is proud of you. And so are the stars. And so is the sun. The aliens are watching you, a little confused about your life choices, but are proud of you too. <laughs> it's just basically cosmic wonders. Do you ever associate someone with their icon so much that you just assume that they're the same gender as their icon or something? And then they post a selfie and you're like, wait, you're not Thomas the Tank Engine! What are we? Writers! What are we gonna do? Right! When are we gonna do it? <laughs> Hey, congrats on the vaccine, dude. You're now a fully-fledged 5G wizard. And if you stand near me, you get free Wi-Fi and become gayer. You're welcome. Pro tip. Whenever you're feeling discouraged as a creator, think of the absolute worst popular media you've ever seen. Then remember that no matter how bad it was, it got popular. That's the worst art I've ever seen, but I have seen it, and I can do better. You know, I like this. This is good. Why do we only drink cow milk? What does whale milk taste like? I want some whale milk! Uh, are you okay? I would be if I had some whale milk. Uni official United States, there is a dark part of the internet you have just summoned with that statement. Put it back!
If you identify with the Joker in any way, shape, or form, I'm gonna need you to get in your clown car and drive the fuck away from me, please. What if I'm the Joker, but like 50s goofy Joker, where his plan involved tricking the mayor into thinking he's on a high classification in Europe so he could impersonate him and pass the silly laws in Gotham? All right, you can stay. For now. <clears throat> Y'all did it, Phil did it. You all would've if I would've. Correct! It's almost a complete sentence of contractions! The South is out of control. Hey, what... What happened in 1915? We don't talk about 1915. Well, at least they eventually realized they should start filling the bottles with Coke. <laughs> I don't have in 1915. <laughs> they got down with the victims. Yo, just discovered a neat trick! If you make brownies but don't cut them, you can eat the whole slab and say you only ate one brownie! Don't... Do not do this. Oh god. I think it's very brave and sexy of me to still play Pokemon games in the exact same way I did when I was five years old. Ignoring all stat changing moves. This is an offensive move only household. If you effectively strategize using stat changes in battle, fuck you! The only stat we care about changing is changing the enemy's HP stat to zero. I love cats so much, I would literally die for any cat. Show me a cat right now, that's my favorite cat. How about this guy? That's him! That's my favorite guy! Wholehearted suggestions. Trying to have the same mindset as just cut your hair to grow back when making decisions. They're not all make or break. But if I don't order the correct sandwich at this coffee shop, my life will be destroyed! Well then buy every sandwich, just in case. Pakicho, as someone with an English degree, I just want to say you have a spectacular way with words, prose, and poetry. Thanks for existing, you're very cool. Doctors hate me. Scholars love me. What did you do to make the doctors hate you? I am a terrible patient. It's the furry salary post, isn't it? Maybe that too! You don't know me! My gender is the giant skull-shaped disco ball in the 2002 live-action Scooby-Doo movie. Ah, yes. The true cause of gender envy. Just imagine that sequence where that ball comes down and somebody in the background, probably me, is going, God, I wish that were me! Today I learned humans domesticated dogs before they developed written language. And now the hairy little bastards never will. The best gorilla joke of 1897. Gorilla. Did you hear about the gorilla who escaped from the zoo? A zookeeper. No, I did not. That is because I am a quiet gorilla. Muffled sounds of gorilla violence. Man, the people in 1897 were mentally in 2030. Don't worry. We'll get there. I'm so confused whenever I see ads because I feel like ads have no effect on me, and so it's just kind of funny that companies spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to advertise to no avail. Until I remember that my boyfriend will download 90% of the games that show up in ads on his phone. He will be playing a mobile game and get an ad and fucking click it and download it. Anything for the free crystals, man. Oh, shit, I forgot to scream at the end of this. Um, I'm gonna need some motivation here. Andy, uh, help me stub my toe, all right? Three, two, one. When I was in elementary school, I thought that the reason we were supposed to capitalize the first letter of people's names was a sign of respect. So I always refused to capitalize the name of my fourth grade teacher or George Bush because I did not respect them. Lowercase. Derogatory. Ugh, everybody wants an ADHD husband until we start doing house chores at 3 a.m. because we can't sleep. Oh, I want to go the retriever lesbian girl boyfriend until it's time to give us indoor enrichment. What is a lesbian girl boyfriend? An experience. Is it crazy how saying sentences backwards creates backward sentences saying how crazy it is? This, this needs a warning sign. Don't mess me up like this! Wait, is it actually genuinely a thing that Americans don't have kettles? Then how do you make tea? By throwing it in the harbor. Stop talking trash about Greek gods! Athena is wise, Hephaestus is productive, Dionysus is a pansexual icon, Demeter is generous, Zeus! Aphrodite is badass, and Hades is efficient! 
If you think evil thoughts and concentrate real hard, you can manifest them as purple orbs. You can throw them at enemies to inflict a poison damage over time effect. Tiny little grapes of despair. Probably a bad RPG idea. An axe that doesn't do damage, but makes enemies smell nice. How about a bow that only shoots when you're aiming if you're blackout drunk? Or a sword that does untyped area of effect damage with D12s? Many of them. Or how about a sword that is actually just a really big butter knife? I'm saving all these as ideas for cursed items. I love every one of them. I'm playing Oblivion and I stole a wheel of cheese from a store. And then like two hours later, I'm in an Oblivion gate, drowning in lava. And a guard swims up to me and is like, stop right there. My bounty is five gold and this dude is on fire trying to arrest a cheese thief. Employee of the month. Also, because you're swimming in lava, you just ruined that cheese. Writing prompt. You walk in a room to find that the only way to escape is by writing a name of a real person on a piece of paper. This will kill that person. Wait, ma'am, 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 you only need to write one name. Too late, this is death note, the escape room now. Do bananas float? Yes. Yes, they do. Ah, oh, thank you. That is a really nice photograph of that floating banana. That, that should be up in a art gallery somewhere. Andy, put that up in an art gallery. Make it look nice. This makes me feel a little melancholy. The inevitability of time, don't you think? What do you see? Banana. Sharks every time there's a cataclysmic extinction event. Damn, that's crazy. Anyway, good thing I'm so smooth. Sharks are so smooth, extinction events just slide right off them. Do you really think your spirit animal is a wolf? Come on now. We all know you're a worm. Or a pathetic lizard. Yours isn't a wolf either. <sighs> Look at me. Look at me! I'm a rat! Another writing prompt. You're happily going about when you vanish into a cloud of smoke. Suddenly you're standing in a ring of candles. A sorcerer holding a tome looks pleased at your arrival. Turns out Earth is hell and we're the demons. And you've just been summoned. <sighs> Bad choice, buddy. Superiority complex? <laughs> I find it quite simple, really. Is Achilles a twink? The greatest thread in the history of forums. Locked by a moderator after 12,239 pages of heated debate. God, I would have loved to have seen it. Fuck ship headcanons! What do you guys think about headcanon characters as exes? The only tags on this post. Squilliam and Squidward. And they're probably right. Personally, I would love to introduce some medieval peasants to synth music. Not for sinister reasons. Just because I think they'd like it, actually. Well, synth music draws on the rich history of string music, so I think they'd play along on a fiddle. Which? What devil's music dost thou play? For it fucks verily. Oh shit, I did the accent again. Andy, Andy, please. Andy, I'm sorry. Please don't, don't blow me up. Please. What? What country are you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of? They speak English in what? Fuck! English, motherfucker! Do you speak it? Yes! Fuck! Say fuck again! Say fuck again! I dare you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say fuck one more goddamn time! Oh, the miracle of science. If you have two hands, you can pet two cats at the same time. Science is beautiful, man. I don't understand why some people use fractions instead of decimals. It's pointless. But anyway, you gotta draw the line somewhere, or else people will think you're being irrational. But that is beside the point. <laughs> Jeff, shut up. Mobsters are part of a mob, and so you'd think lobsters would be part of a lob, but oh, ho, 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 ho. life just isn't so simple now, is it? Aren't we all just trying to be more Tisha Adams just a little bit? Excuse me, some of us are trying to be Gomez, actually. Honorable? Respectable. Where would we be without you? Does the average man get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is it does? The San Francisco Examiner, California, February 25th, 1935.
You know, sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. No. No, it hasn't. It's so annoying that you have to order the whole pizza when you just want a little green pepper from Papa John's. Grow up and ask them. I just got a box full of greasy little green peppers, and they said that people do that all the time. You're just scared. <laughs> Everyone's fucking mean on this site. Dear women, looking at pictures of capybaras on the internet won't solve your problems. You have to kill people. But what if I'm looking at cave bars that are trained assassins? I'm just sitting here eating candy hearts and literally every single one of them has words on it only, but I just found this one with Arthur's face on it? How and why? Please explain! Oh, oh, looks like someone forgot a very important part of the song. It's a simple message and it comes straight from the hearts. <laughs> The reason I stay up late is because I don't want my free time to end and tomorrow to stop. I feel so called out and yet so understood. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> 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 Bus drivers who reopen their doors when they see someone running towards the stop are neutral good. And any other kind of bus driver is automatically lawful evil. Chaotic evil is the bus driver who saw me running to the stop and waited until I was at the door to close it and drive away! Fuck that guy. What should I do of this empty stomach of mine? Fill it with rocks. Okay, does anyone that's normal have any suggestions? Chocolate milk! You ever been so stressed that you're calm? This is my constant state. My chill is fake. How are you so calm? I've passed beyond stress, beyond hysteria, into the gray, misty indifference of complete shutdown of all but emergency services in my brain. I have never felt such a mood in my life. Hey, Tumblr zoologist, does anyone know whether there's a plausible theory as to why, out of all the big cats, lions somewhere along the line decided, oh, wouldn't it be cool in evolutionary terms if our tails had pom-poms on the end? What is it for, please? <clears throat> the old razzle-dazzle. <sighs> the judges will accept that. Streaming music. Every song is on every platform. Streaming shows. Okay, so season one is on Netflix, season two is on Hulu, except for the season finale, which is only available on HBO Max in Japan. <laughs> yeah! Hey, PM, do you know the Muffin Man? He yeah, stole his wallet on Drewy Lane. What did he do? Called Sienna Fat in a negative tone. Had to be done. So how much did the ass have on him? Was it good clean left? Come on, man, I need details. Let's just stay his stores under new ownership. Look at me. I'm the muffin man now. No, 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 hold on. I can do that better. <clears throat> Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> My Elder Scrolls online review. Two stars. I was playing ESO for the first time with my partners, and I didn't realize the menu won't pause the game. So in the midst of trying to message my friend Cyboogs, who was at a higher level than me, that I needed combat help, a skeleton creature started beating me with a club, and all I could send River was skeet and dead help before dying on impact and leaving the game, to which River got my message at 3 or 4 a.m., and saw so I was offline for two hours already. Be gaze and behold, this echidna in Australia has been seeking ants in Red Earth. Knuckles? Damn, Idris Alba's looking good. I just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. You sure? <laughs> Two cups vanilla extract. Jesus Christ! The human life is a strained, intense one. I envy the life of a smooth rock resting on the beach, warmed by the sun, unaware of the trials and tribulations of sentient life. Do you need to talk? <sighs> I wish I was a croissant. So I got soft banned from a local coffee shop because one time an old woman saw me sitting by myself and reported to the manager, There's a Dracula sitting in the corner! Being asked to leave a physical real-life area and calling it a soft bed is pretty good. Whew, I'm so glad I don't have a tumbler. Wait. 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 How did... What?
What? Arrow people are either the best at giving relationship advice because we see through societal bullshit, generally the solution is either talk to each other or break up, or we're the worst. There is no in between. <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> lightning me ka -chow. No, because what are they doing to you? <laughs> Kachinka. Kachinka. T-Rex Lapis. Ugly! Is this Ozymanthus wine? <laughs> You've heard of Grand Theft Auto, now get ready for a steely wheely automobile. <laughs> Disregard the constabulary. <laughs> Delightful. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even know it's a tomato? I just realized that is in fact a pile of ketchup. Serbian cave hermit receives COVID vaccine and doesn't understand why others won't. A Serbian cave hermit has received the coronavirus vaccination and urges others to do the same. I find it funny that a dude living in a cave for 20 years decided to vaccinate as soon as he heard about the virus for the first time. You leave your cave, and you hear that there's a global pandemic, but good news, there's a vaccine. But bad news, a lot of people won't get the vaccine out of jackassery. If it was me, I'd be like, shit like this is exactly why I'm a cave hermit. Google? Why is your name Google? In 1997, what we now know as Google was called Backrub. They decided to change the name to Google. A Google is a very large number, 10 out of the- <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but my Google Assistant turned on because I was doing this <laughs> Oh, fuck, fucking God. Okay, I don't even know if I can start this over. Anyway, Google at a time was called Backrub. Backrub. Can you imagine if that was still in play? <laughs> like, you can download all of our latest apps at Backrub Play. Radiation is just little bugs in the air. Why are people afraid? It's just bugs. It's not real. <laughs> Idiot doesn't even know how radiation is angels and other celestial residue. Bugs? Angels? Well, what's the difference? Well, damn, you got me there. Are you a philosopher? Boy, I'm dumb as shit. Boy, I'm dumb as shit is just rephrase Socrates as I know that I know nothing, so what's the truth? You know, there is literally no rule that says you have to get married and start a family. Normalize splitting a mansion with your five best friends and ten dogs. Oh my god. I want to do that. The year is 2025. Scientists are still scrambling to figure out what Ziggy Zig Ah is so that they can give the Spice Girls what they really, really want. The Spice Girls are getting impatient. War is a us. I literally cannot stop thinking about this official achievement art. Who did this? Why is Steve a cat boy? <laughs> well, I could, I could probably tell you who did it, but uh, if I do that... Andy and I might have an argument on this edit. Uh, Andy, <laughs> put in, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying these words. I haven't said these words in a long time. Andy, <laughs> put in quiet chat. I know it's stupid. I know we haven't worked on it in a long time, but just slur slide in very slowly as I'm trying to explain to you why I think this is funny. Just, <laughs> just do something. I felt a great disturbance in the force. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I feel something terrible has happened. And finally, nothing will fuck you up as much as the realization that there's no real reason the alphabet needs to be in order. What? What? What have you done? <coughs> the ocean is a. 
Well, the ocean's murky and has a lot of fish in it, so by New England standards, technically, it's a chowder. If tweeting is the act of posting something on Twitter, can we call the act of posting something on Tumblr? Tumbling? <laughs> they have such great ideas. Love to be paid a leather pouch heavy with coin that makes a satisfying clink as the mysterious stranger sets it down meaningfully on the oaken table. As a Target cashier who had a guest pay $53 all in quarters yesterday? No, you don't. You'd probably feel different, Peter, if that money was for you and not Target. Revenge of the Sith AU, where Anakin can't kill any younglings because they set up hundreds of space Home Alone-style booby traps around the Jedi Temple. <laughs> <laughs> he opens the door to a bucket full of sand and loads its contents all over his head. You just hear him go, <laughs> you just hear him go, Aah! Well, according to the article, over the three years of human bites documented, there were 6,339 bites. In those same three years, there were only 45 shark bites, meaning that you're actually 141 times more likely to be bitten by a New Yorker than a shark. Tag a New Yorker. And this was sent to me because I'm a New Yorker. And let me just say, I haven't bit anyone. Yet. <laughs> Dying your hair to look like a fictional character? God, you're pathetic. Hey! Fuck you, Sonic! So this true scum make a very angry post like, Oh, you can't trade and collect gender identities like Pokemon cards. And I think that's a quitter mindset. Anyone want to trade genders with me? Yeah, sure. Which ones do you have? All right. I have the rare Among Us gender. There's like only five in existence. Okay, I can give you my holographic B gender and my shitty dream gender. <gasps> OMG, deal. <sighs> a great day for the Tide Tide spider community. Behold, a terracotta piggy bank made in East Java in the 15th century. Oh my god. Andy, show this to Amy. Just, just do it. We'll see what happens. You could just post a gif of her reaction if she doesn't want to do an audio thing. Memes. The DNA of the soul. Genes distributed socially. Everything is a meme. Blood. Booze. Treason. Death. All eternal in society. And as a result, memes. In conclusion, your honor, jury, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That, that, that was beautiful, man. What does an everything bagel even have? It just seems like a bold claim. Hey, 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 hey! Listen! Everything bagel's got everything. It's got poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onions, salt, and... and <laughs> oh, God. I'm bisexual, which means I have both the limp wrist condition and the I'm gonna lift all these chairs by myself if it kills me syndrome. <laughs> this explains some things. Writing prompt. As an author, you're the ultimate god of your world. Your hero became powerful enough to step into reality. He then asked you to explain why an omnipotent being would permit so much evil in the world. Not realizing that you placed all the evil there to spice up the story. <clears throat> story Thieves. You're thinking of Story Thieves. It's an entire book series. Go read it. It's really good. Minecraft News. The new Blood Caverns biome has been toned down to include only 30% of the viscera. Sorry. Fucking robbery. I said sorry. What's a queen without a king? Well, historically... Better. Well, what's Juliet without her Romeo? I'm alive! Power move. Make a D&D character with the same name as your DM. But with cool in front of it. Yeah, this is my character, Cool Jose. He's like normal Jose, except he didn't fail his driving test three times. Three times, Jose. Three times. You know, if you put a dot on the Major League Baseball logo, it looks like a bird with arms. <laughs> Now this is the cut that I drew this set for. <laughs> Every shonen character. I'm 11 and I don't care if I die! I mean, have you ever met an 11 year old? 11 year olds have the self-preservation of someone who has met God and wasn't impressed. I mean, look at Ash Ketchum. He's like 10 or 11 and he's seen like six gods. Tried to punch, I think, two of them. God, the new girl has so many more polygons than me. I'm pathetic. I'll never be as popular as her. And then her sister shows up one day with an even bigger polygon count. I mean some massive polygonal bahungus. Humongous polyhongo gogongolus. Ah, this is what the late 90s consoles wars were like. 
Listen, Neapolitan is the only good ice cream. My pal, those are three flavors on the same tub. Right, and then I beg to differ. You take them and you mix them up. You got the ultimate flavor. It's got the lightness of vanilla, the tanginess of strawberry, and the luxury of chocolate. How dare you say these words to me? <laughs> Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. You should totally get one. I'm just saying. Dude, dude, you have X's for eyes. Are, like, are you okay? <laughs> Is anyone here a doctor? <sighs> Sometimes I just entertain myself by sitting down and making weird noises. And for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna do just that. Andy, you can put whatever you like for every noise that I make, or you can just leave it a blank, awkward pink screen. Hey, it's your call. It's your call. I don't know how much you've already done, but here we go. Mm, pasta. Mm-hmm. Pasta. Pasta indeed. Pasta precisely. Love opening Tumblr and just saying things. If you don't understand my post, that's okay. Because I don't either. Probably bad RPG idea. The Jello Mold of Holding. Acts like a bag of holding, except anything take out of it is encased in jello. Roll for fruit flavoring. Wait, hold on. I like this. This is this is a good idea. How change your URL. Lesbians and bisexuals need to unionize and start biting people. Like vampires. Mysterious heartbeat detected coming from cosmic gas cloud. I mean, sure. Whatever at this point. All hell the glow cloud. Wait, hold on. Wait. Ray? Ray, is that you? I love pinning Discord messages. It's like hanging them on the fridge. You go into someone's house and their fridge is covered in sticky notes that say shit like, I got glass bones and paper skin and every night I shatter my hog. Yeah. Why does anyone eat mint chocolate chip? Like you already brush your teeth two to three times a day. Why swallow toothpaste flavored ice cream? Bitches who say mint ice cream tastes like toothpaste must not brush their teeth because no the fuck it don't. Pitch. A Muppet movie where the Muppets play D&D. And it cuts between the Muppets around the table and the fantasy being acted out. But instead of just being the Muppets dressed up in D&D fantasy costumes, it's celebrity actors, but the Muppets do the voices. And the actors have to act how the Muppets would. Imagine a barbarian played by Jason Momoa voiced by Miss Piggy. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned on celebrities doing voiceovers. <laughs> Who's laughing now, Jason Momoa? The reason vampires go to hell and werewolves don't is that vampires just suck the juice out and waste the rest. If I saw somebody lick the sauce off some pasta and leave the bad noodles intact, I'd condemn them to eternal damnation too. I've been on this site for so long that this is actually this is making some sort of sense. Today I learned that until the mid-20th century, golf clubs were not numbered, but had wonderfully funny names. Brassies, Niblicks, Baffies, Mashies, Jiggers, Spoons, and Gleeks. Hey guys, want to hear the seven news slurs for British people I just came up with? Andy, Andy, we can't allow this. Uh, destroy today I learned that. They've had enough. <laughs> No, actually, Dr. Pepper is the scientist. You're thinking of Monster Energy Drink. My mistake. I recently heard about this young adult novel in which Schrodinger's cat and Pavlov's dog team up for a cross-country adventure. So I headed down to the library to see if they had a copy for my ten-year-old daughter. The librarian said that my description rang a bell, but she wasn't sure if it was there or not. Jeff! I can change him into a llama. Might throw off his groove, though. His 20s really ain't roaring, man. Yeah, they're screaming. Writing prompt. 
After Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, he decided to make his own paradise. Both compete to have the best afterlife, and sadly you lived a sin-free life and got sent to heaven. God is throwing a very boring, sin-free party. You spend your time trying to get kicked out so you can go to hell. I looked at the basketball in my hand, and then at God's halo. His back has turned. I had no regrets. In literal seconds, I was greeted by a crying, laughing on the floor, Lucifer! That sounds beautiful. Somebody draw this. Hey, I'm starting a union for smart Alex and wise guys. What are the do's and how do I sign up? You just gotta put your two cents in. Future gays are gonna be writing posts like, Oh, to be a young touch stuff gay from 2020. Stuck in quarantine, unburdened by social interactions, but longing for the embrace of my love. Gays in 2021 will write like that. And... Still are. You know, not all construction work is equally enjoyable. For example, enlarging a drilled hole is boring, but fastening pieces of metal together is riveting. This joke would get the exact same reaction in 1870 that it gets in 2021, and I love that about it. Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's good! I like that. I actually really didn't get it. They said it couldn't be done. Venipiogram. This is the most important visual pun to have ever been posted on the internet. What is happening? Pytosis is happening! Ugh, what is that obnoxious glowing orb in the sky? The sun. I'm gonna fight it. Hey boy, are you from tennis shoes? Cause you're the only tennis shoes. You get my drift? People who suppress their feelings are scary. I'd much rather associate with the person who will punch a trash can and break a window, but come back feeling sedated and hungry for chicken wings. Yeah. Yahoo answers, how do I resurrect someone back to life without making them zombies or vampires? Well, resurrection is basically impossible nowadays because the spirits need a reason to come back to the world. And have you seen the world lately? Did you know? By replacing your potato chips with grapefruit as a snack, you can lose up to 90% of what little joy you still have left in your life. Worst. Fruit. Why does it exist? I am the gender of being a funny little guy. Uh, hee hee hee, if you will. You're not even Jeff! Wait, Yahoo answers, how many humans in a trench coat are you? We're actually six trench coats and a human. It's very uncomfortable for all parties involved. What? Yes, I am both the friend who texts back immediately or leaves you on read because I'm reading fan fiction. Depends on the day. Deal with it. Being a vampire sounds cool at first, but you have to remember they can't have garlic. And what kind of sad fucking existence would that be? What is the point of eternal undeath without the spice of life? Just truly bonkers how much I love lying down. Like being horizontal? I'm paralleled. Well, it's paralleled by both the floor and the ceiling, but I see where you're coming from. So, what's your stock portfolio like? Oh, well, I've got chicken, beef, vegetable, the classics mostly. Well, keep it up and before long you'll be a bullionaire. <laughs> I bake muffin. Muffin tasty. What well, flavor is muffin? It's muffin flavored. <laughs> My first joke I ever made was drawing a comic where two people were staring at a dress in the window of a store. One of them says, I would die for that dress. And the other says, I would kill for that dress. And then they look at each other awkwardly. This is when I was like six, and every day I wake up knowing I'll never be able to top this. My magnum opus. I love it when you're drinking citrus drinks and you can't feel your tongue and your entire face starts sweating. It's so cleansing. Um... My doctor said I'm allergic to citrus. Me as the sole survivor of the apocalypse, commenting last on every YouTube video. One day you'll get an alert that someone liked your comment. It was me, on a separate account. I got bored. At my funeral, the audience will watch my favorite comfort movie, and whoever checks their phone first gets disinherited. Actually, I like this. This is, this is good. This is a good idea. I'm gonna do this. Andy, make sure I do this when I die. do just fine. You could do more, you know. Yes, I could have gone to Russia and wrestle the bear. 
talking about things we could do, you could have fucked right off! When did everyone agree on calling Tumblr a hell site? Literally day one, my dude. Day one. Stick. Mmm. <gasps> a stick indeed. Ten-year-old me wants to pick it up and swing it around like a sword. That'd be great. If only I had a magical editor that could just let me use that for at least probably two seconds of me just bonking something with a stick. If only. I could fix him. Yeah, well, I could accept him as he is. You don't like the murder? Grow up. The atrocities are part of him, and I decided they're funny. Right before this video, I got an ad using PM's voice. And thus, my life as a voice actor and YouTube dude have finally collided. That said, though, today's video is brought to you by... Uh, apologies for the delay on this one. Someone has been... Very busy with other things. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been doing my usuals. You know, seeing friends, watching the humans. Breaking the YouTube by being you? Yes, breaking the YouTube. <laughs> no! Shush! Question one If you unraveled your hair bun, how long would your hair be? Mm, I don't really have an exact measurement, but I know it's very long. One time, Shiro pulled on my hair ribbon, and the sheer magnitude of hair that hit him forced the poor man to poop back into his spirit form. <sighs> I thought it was pretty funny. Actually, that kind of answers the question, too. If you got really hurt in your physical form, what would happen? Uh, I try my best to stay out of trouble. But if something does happen, much like Shiro, I revert back to my spirit form and rest up how I can. Usually it takes a day or two to recover. That said, if something happens to the moon itself, like if it got hit to the point of explosion, well, I would become one with the universe again. Spirits like me don't really die. We just get rare chances to live like humans do. By sheer damn anomaly, huh? Who knew? You did. What? Nothing! Question four. Isn't there multiple universes where you exist? <laughs> Doesn't that apply to everyone? <laughs> Got him. Question five. What is your relationship with the other spirits like Solaria, Rei, and Shiro? Solaria, despite being much older than me, sees me as a big sister. Mainly because when she first met me, I was taller and bigger than her. So she kind of latched on to the idea. Ray, I suppose one could call my mother, in a sense, if I am to believe her story of being the cosmos herself, but I am not entirely sure. <laughs> As for Shiro, uh, um, well, he's sort of, you know. They holding hands. <laughs> hey, it's not what you think. Shiro is, um, very special to me, and it's not my fault he is so kind and sweet, a little blunt, but also equally naive, and his eyes are so pretty, and he becomes a big pretty dragon, and I just want to write, wait! No, no, bad phrasing, bad! Question six. Any interesting quirks or powers you have? <sighs> uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> powers. Um, so, um, sorry, just... <laughs> anyway, powers, yes. I can create shields and any sort of protective barriers out of my own spirit. I suppose it was given to me out of my purpose with the moon to keep the earth safe from space debris in the swords. I also learned in spirit form my tears have rather profound properties, where if they make contact with existing primitive life, like microscopic sea animals or flowers, there's a chance they can create new types of life! Isn't that cool? Hmm. I wonder if I have done it before. <coughs> hmm? What was that on the screen? Nothing, just a, just a glitch. It's fine. Hmm. Are you being the suspicious one? No. Don't lie to me. You really want to know? Yes. You sure? Yes! Tell me! All right. <clears throat> You ever notice how Grape and Asai are the only slimes on Earth who can form into elves or humans like you? What? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute!
I hate lazy people. Why? We didn't even do anything. Ah, <laughs> form of laziness right here. Taking your Twitter post, putting it on Tumblr, and then sending it for me to read. <laughs> Classic lazy. Still read it, though. Eventually, they'll need to reinvent Superman's alter ego because nobody reads newspapers anymore. Clark Kent, the BuzzFeed editor. Ten people who are definitely not Superman. Meanwhile, BuzzFeed. <laughs> Wait, they have the new one coming out. What if they just do that? Men's section? <laughs> More like where the hot women shop. Women section? More like where the hot men shop. Soup section? More like, where's the clothes? I don't go to the gym because it says no food allowed and I'm a damn snack. I'm just following the rules. That's why you don't see me and Andy at the gym. Doesn't matter though, we're both incredibly jacked. Andy, put up, put up a picture of us. Yeah, see? Look. Authentic as hell. Music distracts me from whatever I want to do, but at the same time I can't do anything without music! Having bad sight has its upsides. People think I squint so much because I'm just focused on the conversation, while in reality, I'm just trying to see you! I just got diagnosed with forehead kiss deficiency. Me too. Maybe we could trade forehead kisses? I don't, I don't know, just thought... if you wanted... What's gender anyway? Isn't gender that thing you make a smoothie in? No, no, that's a blender. Gender's when you give up fighting, I believe. <laughs> no, that's surrender. Gender is the person that serves you drinks at the bar. No, 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 that's bartender. Gender is those people in Atla that control elements. I don't know why I said Atla. I meant to say Avatar The Last Airbender, but y'all knew what I mean! Kind of funny when English teachers say stuff like, I can tell if you didn't read the book, or I can tell when people BS their paper. <laughs> no, you can't. You can tell when people are bad at BSing their paper. I didn't even read the Spock notes and barely scammed the Wikipedia, and you gave me an A. You kneel before my throne underwear that it was Born of lies! There is no difference between exercise and black magic broth. <laughs> black magic broth? What's wrong with me? Starting over! There's no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first and drain you of energy, but the more you dabble in it, the more powerful you become. That is the most inspiring thing I've ever read. Snom, has anyone tried to send you bad vibes and ass? Once. Did Snob kill them? No. I think Snob did. I hate it when I misplace my glasses because I'm forced to walk around looking like I'm suspicious of everything in the room. What about you, Cabinet? Huh? You sketchy piece of shit. Did you take them? Did you fucking take my glasses? Bloodborne is just Dark Souls, but wet. Pardon? Dark Souls is defined by its absence of anything resembling life. Miyazaki made a world that is almost utterly devoid of growth or flourishing at all. Everything is in the final stages of rot and decay, reduced to the cracking skeleton of what it once was. And not just metaphorically, the stone and grass and trees and just everything about it are so terribly dry. Bloodborne though. Bloodborne is fucking dripping wet. The stone in central Yarnum, wet. The bosses, wet. The weapons, wet. The combat, wet. The plot points, wet. The way it's so utterly obsessed with liquid, fresh death gore in a city in mist of ruin rather than having died off long ago, wet. I was on TikTok and I saw a video. I looked in the comment section and this guy is saying everything right. His comment was spot on. It was perfection. Like you read my fucking mind. I gave it a like then I realized something. I've seen it before. That was my own comment. You'd think I'd be ashamed, but I just think I'm the greatest. Overstimulation sensory overload really is like, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of my shirt tag being itchy and these two strains of hair touching my face and the TV and one of the shoelaces being undone and air touching me and the plane flying overhead and my own thoughts about remembering to buy hummus! I can't talk, I have socks on! <sighs> Tumblr, I've warned you countless times about being a mood. I'm gonna need you to stop. This entire website could be deleted right this second, and I still wouldn't move to Twitter, sorry. <laughs> well, look whose account is deactivated. Where are you now, Steam and Sequences? Are you on Twitter? I think you might be. 
Oh my god, babe, kissing my knuckles, that's so... <gasps> stop! Stop! Stop licking my ring paw! <clears throat> According to a recent survey, 7 out of 10 people don't notice when a word in a sentence is replaced by a musical instrument. I hate you, Jeff. Oh my god, please don't embarrass me in front of the great stone obelisk for whence all darkness comes. Swear to God, Mom. On the bus and just watched a six-ish year old girl walk into a tree because she was reading and kept going without looking away from her page. Good on you, random girl. I've been there too. Keep walking. Keep walking. She's going places. Mostly into trees. Probably bad RPG idea. Make it easier to distinguish between in-character and out-of-character comments by doing all in-character dialogue three inches from the GM's face. Okay, so I'm gonna roll for initiative now on this guy, is that okay? Honestly saying, oh, it comes with lore about anything that has text explaining the use and or contents is one of the funniest things. Looks at instructions on my ramen package. Oh, lore! Lore on my ramen package? Call that a... Uh... Flavor text. Remember, toe beans are the signs of a killer. Funnily enough, I'm not 100% joking. While many animals have paw pads, the particular kind of soft, squishy beans found on house cats are an adaptation for stealth. Squishy beans mean you're looking at an ambush predator. These are the beans of a killer, Bella. Making art is literally actually like doing an exorcism. You have to get it out of your brain. You have to. I don't, I don't think that's true. Uh, Andy, what we did before, ask Amy if it's like an exorcism and then just give me a gif of her response. Yeah. <sighs> I woke up today and I don't like it. One time I dreamt the Undertale movie got released and the only reason I found out was because my friend sent me a message in all caps telling me Addison Ray was Metaton. I <laughs> mean, kinda works. I don't know, here's a picture of Addison Ray. Here's a picture of Metaton. Do, do, do the math. Reasons to be frog shaped. Reason one, you are frog shaped. Reason two, you can sleep on a lily pad. Reason three, you may be one with the bog. Reason four, ultimate friend shape. And reasons five, from <laughs> Concept, elves are supernaturally good at everything only because they live to be bonkers old. And if you were hot and sexy for thousands of years, you'd be kick-ass at archery and tree climbing and horseback riding too. But there's like, 20 year old elves out there that are just straight dumbasses who can't do shit. Concept, non-elves can't tell the 20 year old elves apart from the 2000 year old elves. And third concept, there's a 20 year old elf in your tavern and he's counting on this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short, I'm not short. This is because today I was at the beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so uh, I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort, and it went absolutely not excellent. Yeah. Writing prompt. A murder mystery where every character believes themselves to be responsible for the death and tries their best to cover it up. <gasps> the real kicker is that the guy died from natural causes! I want this book. I wish my body was ablaze with astral charge. Could really do with some cosmic infinity coursing through my veins right now. Tremble before my might, whatever. Ah, the centuries of frozen slumber not treating you well? Yeah. Elephants, please stay in your car. Oh, come on, let the elephants get out and stretch the legs. They've probably been driving for a while. No, I'm not tired of being nice. And yes, I just still want to go ape shit. Things can coexist. Stop asking me. I want to be very nice, but in an ape shit kind of way. Me mentally flipping through the various daydream universes I crafted up like records in a crate. Hmm. Which fantasy shall I indulge in tonight? I hate that this is me. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. The word in parentheses meme is way better for tone indication than actual tone indicators. So true. Sexual intent.
I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so just to avoid accidentally using offensive language, I'm just gonna start using 90s surfer dude slang because inadvertently offending someone is totally bogus, dude. You know, people might not want to be called dude. You are radically right, and that is so not tubular, my friend. I apologize. I find your poor grammar and spelling to be offensive to my eyes. Watch me catch this gnarly wave of I don't care! I just really cannot believe this fucking thing exists. Imagine making a robot this built, and its purpose is to play table tennis. I mean, this is just an anime dude for a sports anime about tabletop tennis. Tell me I'm wrong. Me as a Silent Hill protag. What the heck? What the hell just happened? What in God damn is going on here? What on earth? This door is locked. What is this? What's going on? <laughs> I don't mean to sound like a dick, but don't you also mean <laughs> Ethan Winters from Resident Evil 8? Maintenance notice. We're crashing this site with no survivors. Oh fuck, oh fuck, quick, get all the memes, oh shit, they're doing it right! Hmm, I wonder what you taste like. Battery acid, go away. Digital art is like, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally, flip horizontally. I refuse to flip because what I don't know can hurt me. Absolutely valid take. Or is it? Andy, flip the video. Oh god, this was a mistake, flip it back! Oh, thank god. You know, it's a shame that the Spanish word for cheeseburger is not hamburger queso. Why is it not? Yeah, having comfort sons is pretty cool, though. Songs! I meant songs! Comfort sons! I have one of those. Behold, this is Grape. He's my son. He's an absolute bastard. You never pretended to be a bride when you were a little girl? No. Like, literally never? Why pretend to be a bride when you can be a meerkat? The premise of minimum wage, when it was introduced, was that a single wage earner should be able to own a home and support a family. That was what it was based on. A full-time job, any job, should be able to accomplish this. The fact people scoff at this idea if presented nowadays as though the people that ring up your groceries or hand you your burgers don't deserve the luxury of a home and a family is disgusting. Also, if a livable wage breaks the system, then the system deserves to be broken. Just saying. A young boy runs into the room, his short hair ruffled and glasses askew. His face is a light shade of pink and he seems out of breath, though he quickly composed himself, smoothing down his shirt and fixing his glasses. He extends his hand and opens his mouth to speak. I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Oh my god, stop! Parents be getting upset when their head cannon for their child doesn't turn out to be cannon. Exactly, but never say it like that. Anime art styles where the eyes are so low and the mouth and nose are so high that they're almost on the same plane are terrifying. I'm cute! No, you're not! You're horrifying! I'm so sick of scrolling and then BOOM! Spike trap! Spike trap! Spike trap! Well, guess what, post below me? <laughs> BAM! <laughs> Fuck you! Eh, sandwich yourself, idiot. I like how there are two universal constants on Tumblr, and those are Jesse and James, and Doofus, Mertz, and Perry the Platypus. And honestly, good for them! It's what you call perfect character design. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, time to make a post on Tumblr! Surely no one will interpret it to be as offensive and bad intentioned as possible! Hey, not wanting anyone to disagree with your post is- By Talos, this can't be happening! Like clockwork, holy shit! Ah, fuck. I had an idea, god damn it! ADHD is fucking rad because I can be trying to make a silly sentence on Tumblr. Around the world, 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 around the world. And that's how the body of Christ helped Johnny assassinate the President of the United States! Yeah! Why are we humans so good at bait and wait methods slash techniques? Nobody's matching you on Tumblr, huh, pal? Do kids these days make up songs about killing the Wiggles and Doc McStuffins, or did Barney the Dinosaur just unlock some latent primal rage in my generation? Probably. What if I... 
<laughs> TNT block. Redstone dust. No doubt. Ugh. Fine. Redstone torch. Son of a bitch! When I was little, I thought I could see people's auras, but in actuality, I just have bad eyesight. If Cobb could speak, they would all have French accents. Mon dieu, you have caught me. I don't think that was French. Your YouTube channel got more explody. What changed? Explosions. In fact, Andy, for the course of this video, put tiny sad little explosions at random spots that no one expects them. Starting... Ah! Now. He stared at her with what was probably a normal amount of eyes. Probably. Two houses both alike in dignity never establishes the level of dignity they both obtain. This is usually assumed to be high, but it could in fact be extremely low. Thus, an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet with both houses being a rival clown troupe would not be in opposition to the text. In this essay, I will... Where's the SAOP? Your friends love you. You are not a burden. You don't weigh them down. They chose you. Lord help me because I can't stop saying I may have girl boss too close to the sun to myself whenever I literally do anything. Okay, but well, now I will be too? Back when I worked at Walgreens, I didn't know which hazel was a real thing. People would come in asking for it, I'd be like, yeah, it's on aisle three next to Wolfsbane and I and Newt, you fucking idiot bastard. Zoe, Wolfsbane is also a thing, and I of Newt is just the old-timey way of saying mustard seed. But, Talos, this can't be happening again! If 666 is evil, then 25.806975801127 is the root of all evil. <laughs> you have a fucking calculator in your shower? At Pascal, while well, I'm number one, do back the calculus just for fun. Messing with the new students at Secret Wizard College by making up spells that aren't real. <laughs> you don't even know how to cast Mungus Blast? What's a Mungus Blast? Wow, you don't even know about Mungus Blast? Please, I must know what a Mungus Blast is, I beg you, tell me! Look, if you must know, head down to the archives and ask with the hovering orb of knowledge what a Mungus Blast is. Make sure you ask really, really loud. Really loud. Fuck algebra! I don't need it! Just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from here! I feel I should clarify I'm a mortuary science major. My aunt used to write horoscopes for the newspaper as a part-time job. She had a friend in college who A, always read that newspaper's horoscope, and B, didn't know my aunt wrote it. So whenever the friend had a shitty episode, my aunt would make her horoscope as positive as possible to tear her up. Long story short, they recently got married and they're both my aunts now. What do you mean, long story short? Give me this entire Sammy K romance novel right now! Behold. Proud boy. <gasps> a fellow gamer. The writer's blessing. May you write 1,500 words with ease. May your characters be lively and not cardboard. May you need a little editing. May your muse visit you as soon as you sit. May the internet not distract <coughs> you much. And may your phone lie dormant while you write. Okay, but on the subject of writers, having writer friends is being like in the world's tiniest fandom. Except to get new content, you have to beat it out of the author with a stick. Being a writer is like being in the world's tiniest fandom, and you have to beat content out of yourself with a stick. Being a writer and having writer friends is like you're all in different fandoms and you take turns beating content out of each other with a stick. All hail the content whacking stick? You know, the most important thing they don't tell you about being gay is that as soon as you have any creative control over your appearance, you will start dressing like one or more of the Muppets. Does the Count from Sesame Street count as a Muppet? I think he counts like generally as his main character trait. Nine hours of studying and I can't remember my own name, but I can remember how to kill a man using a toothbrush, so there's that. The hell kind of classes are you taking? I'm a forensic criminologist. Our slogan is, can't run fast enough to be a serial killer, so I'll just help the police catch him. My dad just described the size of a large dog to me by saying, he could, like, stand up and make his own fucking dinner on the stove. I mean, it works. Marvel characters who are false advertising. Ant-Man, he can be any size, not just ant-sized. Cyclops, this fucker has two eyes, not just one. Winter Soldier, He's there all year round. Wolverine? 
doesn't wear a Wolverine fursuit. You'd think he was a furry, but no, he isn't. Iron Man, suit made out of gold titanium alloy. Spider-Man, only four limbs and doesn't shoot web out of his butt. And Mr. Fantastic, <laughs> he is just awful. So how important do you have to be to have been assassinated instead of murdered? That is a good question. Well, if the motivation is political, then it's assassination. Otherwise, it's murder. You can't be assassinated by accident. If a jilted ex murders the Prince of Placeland, it's just a murder. If a jilted ex is also a member of a rival political faction, it may be an assassination. Now... If a jilted ex is driving home in tears and accidentally runs over the Prince of Placeland in the middle of the night in a neighborhood where the streetlights are out because the Prince's questionable infrastructure policy, it's manslaughter. Uh, thanks, murder side of Tumblr? Human DNA has an information storage capacity that very neatly fits the size of a GameCube game. Thus, it would be possible with gene editing technology to store a copy of Super Mario Sunshine inside the human genome. Details and image. Super Mario broth mad scientist moments? So what you're saying is... <laughs> I can run do. My plan is to make candy dice they look like normal dice, and use them normally through sessions until one day I roll an at one, and then I just eat the dice to the horror of my friends. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. I'm always so flattered when bees buzz around my face. I'm sorry, miss, I'm not a flower, but it's very sweet that you thought I was. No state proposal. Megachusets. Ah, so that's how they got Dunkin' Donuts to California. It all makes sense now. People who think this planet was created for humans to be ours are so wild to me. 70% of the planet's surface is undrinkable, uninhabitable death water that sharks love. How is that a human-centric design? The Earth was created for various types of crabs. What's even the point of using a spoon for soup? Why don't we always just drink it? Maybe the spoon is there to keep us humble, to meet ourselves, so we do not get lost in passion of soup. Hey, Copernicus, it's just soup. I just heard a Minecraft door sound in my head. That was your brain leaving. <laughs> Got him. Hey, remember that forward cooking horror story? Guess what? <laughs> There's a follow up, so let's recap. Just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. Two cups of vanilla extract. Okay, but what did they cook after they drank two cups of vanilla extract? Wow! Never seen someone invent a whole new type of sin in just 14 words before! Good... Good job! Pokemon trainer that shouts, GET HIS ASS every time they order their Pokemon to attack. That's just, that's just if Pokemon, if it was shot in New York City, and he was Youngster Joey, except Youngster Joey is also Joey from Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's Brooke, but, you know what? Doesn't matter, the joke still stands. And he put, put Joey's face on Youngster Joey's face, okay? There, boom, did it. Avatar AU where Aang wakes up like three days before Sosan's Comet returns and he has to speedrun the entire series. Oh my god, please say more! So the South Pole and North Pole exist in the same map file, so if you break out of bound, you can go from one to the other without having to travel the world. And Zuko's redemption stat and hair stat are tied to the same variable. So if you just put the right wig on him, he becomes automatically redeemed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why I am unworthy of forgiveness. You have 1,263 open tabs. How do you live like that? How is your computer not fucking dead? Okay, but all I've done today is sleep. <laughs> I woke up at noon, ate lasagna. <laughs> It went back to sleep right after. Method actor Garfield cosplayer. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I just found out OSHA official deactivated. I, I don't even want to commit OSHA violations anymore. Not without my boy OSHA. This is literally Joker's relationship with Batman. 
I hate that I can agree with this addition to my post. <laughs> I'm at Tumblr University, and they told me they never even heard of your URL. <laughs> Shut up, straight boyfriend. Hey, watch out. I heard there's an ape on the loose, and they could I'd be anywhere. Wait. <laughs> He's right there. Run! A lot of pets will ignore you. But only a cat will follow you from room to room and check your lines of vision to make absolutely certain that you can see them ignoring you. Well, here's a fun fact. Cats actually have very good peripheral vision and do a lot of checking things out with it. Full frontal staring into your face is, for them, an aggressive statement. Hence why they do that a lot when they're trying to make you do stuff, like feed them or play with them. If a cat sits with you but at an angle and won't meet your gaze, they're not ignoring you at all. They're hanging out. They're having a chill bro time. If you want to smile at your cat, look at them till they see you, then give a slow blink. This is a cat smile. If a cat only glances at you to give you a blink and then looks away, this is a warm greeting, like, hey there, buddy. Be polite right back at them and don't seek out or hold sustained eye contact in friendly, casual situations. Hmm. Cat etiquette 101. I googled world's funniest joke, and this was it. <clears throat> Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson were going camping. They pitched their tent under the stars and went to sleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, Holmes woke up Watson and said, Watson, look up at the sky and tell me what you see. Watson replied, well, I see millions and millions of stars. Holmes said, and what do you deduce from that? Watson replied, well, if there are millions of stars, and even if a few of those have planets, it's quite likely there are some planets like Earth out there. And if there are a few planets like Earth out there, there might also be life. And Holmes said, Watson, you idiot, it means that someone stole our tent. <laughs> okay. That's good, I like that one. Posts that be like, if I were a monster that had to eat people, I would just eat horrible people, are so absurd to me. How often do you see known criminals on the street? Billionaires out for a nightly stroll around town? Effectively fucking never. If I have to drag myself to the grocery store, you think it's gonna be any easier for me to hunt Bezos and company every time my stomach growls? I can't bother to plan meals more than a day in advance. How am I gonna perform whole ass detective work to confirm someone's a serial killer before I eat them? Y'all got that much time in your hands? Planning five course meals every night of the week? Don't make me laugh. Eat a pedestrian and tragically wrestle with guilt like the rest of us, idiot. Coming this fall, Ripley's Believe It or Die. And later at night, Ripley's Just Go Fuck Yourself. Probably bad RPG idea. You give all your dice a little smooch before you roll them, so they'll give you a natural 20 out of love. I love you, dice. Beautiful dice. Good dice. Mwah. Rolls. Nat one. You mother- All right. Let's just set the record straight here, okay? I get asked most occasions if I will start doing readings for Reddit and Facebook and Twitter because most people assume Tumblr is dead. Which is not. I'm pretty sure that thing is going to live until the end of time, which means I might too. But that's not the point. I don't do Twitter. I mean, I'm on Twitter, but I don't voice late night Twitter posts. It's not my brand. But there might be someone out there who does. Someone who's wise and brave beyond his years. Who edits the most weird videos on the internet that are most likely mine. Has a really, really awesome voice. Even more awesome than mine and might be editing this video right now. Andy, you wouldn't have to know anyone who does that, right? <laughs> Balloons are so weird. Like, happy birthday, here's the plastic sack of my breath. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. To the person who stole my Microsoft Office license, I'm gonna find you. You have my word. <laughs> Pre-nap me. Gosh, I'm just a little sleepy. I could use me a little nappy nap. Post-nap me. Why? Why do I exist in this world? <laughs> How do I know what is real? What is the truth? I'm so thirsty! And the average cumulus cloud weighs as much as 2,500 donkeys. Yeah, well, how much does a donkey weigh? About uh, 1 in 2,500 of a typical cumulus cloud. With this watermelon, I shall rule the world! <laughs>
Would you take me to the beach? <laughs> Looks like you're already on the beach, you silly boo! This girl is camping with her boyfriend in Byron Bay, and who turns up shirtless? I want to move to Australia. I mean, look at him. He's so slim now. How do people just randomly find shirtless Chris Hemsworth in the wild? You've never been to Australia in summer, have you? Oh, yeah. We got free-range Hemsworth worming all over the place. They're actually getting to be a real problem. There's a small nest of them living in the roof of my in-law's garage. They keep eating their gravelias. <laughs> what the hell is a gravelia? Covers are important people! Covers are people! And apparently neither are exclamation marks, but we'll ignore that, shall we? Not even God can prepare you for what you're about to see. What? What is it? Behold! Baby legs! Okay, mothers, if your kid refuses to carry the trash out to the bin, just tell them you had to carry trash for nine months. Ooh! A game show where a toddler has to choose between a check for a million dollars or a small basket filled with around $8.14 of dollar store toys. And in the corner of the TV, you can see their parents in the locked soundproof room watching from a screen and screaming the whole time. I need this show in my life right now. My talent is identifying birds. Oh yeah? Okay. What's this one then? Yep, yep, nope, that one right there. That's a bird. In primary school, we had a creative writing assignment where we had to write about a character in a new, strange situation. And I wrote about a squid that was somehow teleported from the ocean to the forest floor and slowly choked to death for two pages. And I'll never quite forget my teacher's face because it turns out she wanted this new school is scary. I hope I make friends. And not a graphic description of a squid dying. Well, you can't believe some people. I still did pass because I did fulfill the assignment, but I just saw her pursing her lips like, hmm, all right, all right, this kid's, uh, this kid's going on a watch list, okay. Okay, 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 guys, think, 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 think about this. Someone in this world has consumed more mayonnaise than anyone else currently alive, and they don't even know it. Poor bastards. I was at the zoo the other day, and there was this fucking goose trying to act like a fucking flamingo. It was a peaceful day in flamingo world, and you are an imposter goose. You know what? Being a serial killer is much like being a comedian. In that you either hit it big and get your own Netflix special, or you spend eternity popping up on shitty popcasts. Huh. That's a hell of a Venn diagram tweet. Can't wait for the final boss battle of Duolingo when you fight the 50-foot owl armed with nothing but your wits, a sword, and your shaky grasp of verb conjugations. Oh my god, Duolingo. I just got it. Holy shit! You know what? Technically... You can go the rest of your life without eating or drinking. What the fuck? My favorite thing to do when someone asks me to perform a simple task is to say no while doing it. Someone, hey, can I borrow a pen? Me getting a bag of pens out. Absolutely not perish! Might I interest you in some sushi? Okay, soon realize, um, Andy's doing stuff too. If you, if you like his edits, you'll like his voice too. His voice is good. Go go to this post right here in the description. Pin comment too, because I know some of you do not read the description. I'm, watch, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you right now. Go to that page. Check out his stuff. You'll love it. All right, we're done here with this collaboration. Andy, make the video explode. <laughs> Won't form a coherent thought. Just know I have a lot to say and several things to be enraged about. I can't do everything for you, so fill in the blanks. Warning, your storage is almost full at 18%. Okay, can someone explain how 18% is almost full? You ever fantasize about sharing fruit or someone washing your hair for you and you're like, Oh, I am just a little pack animal. My love language is indeed monkey instincts. Monkey. Monkey. Being a macro-organism is so stressful. I want to know what my cells are doing. I don't like how unsupervised they are. My cells govern themselves. I'm just mostly a figurehead. My body is a constitutional monarchy, and I am its 
powerless queen. Bohemian Rhapsody, We Will Rock You, Somebody to Love, all hit singles. And all the direct product of a band that was formed when an astrophysicist and a dentistry major found a new friend in an art college, who then went to recruit a fourth member from the electronic school. Based on this alliance, I propose the rift in society between arts and STEM students was fabricated to keep us separated so as to dilute our true power. And fabricated by who, you may ask? The business major. The only member of society who reaps no reward from art and science, and thus must weaken us so as to stay ahead. In this essay, I will... Where's the SAOP? Life hack. If someone makes a racist slash sexist joke, say with total seriousness, I don't get it. Can you please explain it? Then watch them crash and burn. <laughs> it's so weird that Daisy Ridley is eyeballing that Lara Croft role in the Tomb Raider reboot. Like, sure, Star Wars was really big, but you can't just be a beloved space hero in one franchise and also be a big name as some kind of combat archaeologist. Who's ever doubled up like that? <laughs> Call out post! You! You're a good person and you treat yourself unfairly. A lot of people are reblogging this post with, no, I'm trash, and I just want to say, listen, you little problematic fuck. You have more value than you realize. Fucking love yourself, goddammit! Abba waited until our darkest moments, when the world needed them most, and then they returned. Avatar. <gasps> My sister is making mac and cheese on the other side of the house. <laughs> you have a nose? Yeah. Wow. Small world. Oh, thinking about girl wizards again. Not witches. Witches are responsible and ecologically knowledgeable and stuff like that. Wizards are like, <laughs> I'm gonna do indivisible magics. <laughs> yeah, they do be like that. I'm watching Planet Earth, and there's this one small scene where the most crowned seal ever swims past. And i just like to thank David Attenborough for bringing us this good, good orb seal. Bless you. I just don't understand how this happened, but here's a picture of a lemon from my backyard. What the ever-loving fuck? You know, you know what they say, when life gives you lemons... I sacrifices! Dear Rat, for hours you have chewed through my ethernet cable, limiting me from accessing my Tumblr block. But now, I finally have you trapped, hey? Whoa, 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 you can't keep chewing, I need to post this trap! When you need to pay respects. What? Where's the time signature? Are you telling me you need a time signature to play one note for a joke post? And for all you non-music people, here, allow me to clarify this joke for you. That's the note F. Mona Lisa. And her possum. Oh, this isn't real. You can't just post fake stuff on the internet. I am so upset because I want this to be real so bad. Well, it can be real if you believe and or help me break into the Louvre. Someday I want to see a show that does the no filler episodes thing from the opposite direction. Just a whole season worth of low stakes character pieces that seem to move the overall story absolutely nowhere. Then episode 26 pulls all the triggers at once and this massive Rube Goldberg machine of a plot the show's been quietly setting up for the background the whole time hits you like a truck. Now, I'm no expert on this, but I'm pretty sure there's two shows out there that have done this. Andy put up a picture of the amazing world of Gumball and Rick and Morty. I'm just saying. Just saying. Probably more so Gumball. My favorite self-care tip is to pretend you're a demon inhabiting a human's body and you gotta look after it. Treat it right, cause these things are weak as fuck, man, and you gotta protect your host. You know? That might actually work. Is the sugar a seasoning? I did not come scrolling through Tumblr at 4am to be assaulted with this. 
I don't, I don't know, man. I always laugh when somebody declares James Potter on the verge of expulsion for his pranks and fic. Because Malfoy was literally a Death Eater trying to kill the Headmaster. And Dumbledore was like, Hey, let's just see if we can gently glide him away from this. I'm pretty sure the only thing that gets you expelled at Hogwarts is if you actually have straight up murdered someone. <clears throat> Tom Riddle straight up murdered someone. And Dumbledore just keeps an annoyingly close eye on him. So no, that didn't even work either. Fun fact! It's coming. I'm already here! Get away! This is where I watch my parents die, Raphael. Hey yo, check out this cool frog! He's gesturing at himself. I, I, I remembered Raphael was a turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Frog, frog power! Frogs. Frog. Count it off! Frogs. I don't know what's funnier. Pets with stereotypical human names like Brian and Michaela, or pets with completely ridiculous names like Hamburger and Concrete. Counterpoint. Both. One of each. These are my cats, Switchboard and Gary. Enough of this, this character is my son. This character is my nephew. Not my responsibility, but I am taking him out for lunch and buying him Hot Wheels. This is just when your friends have an OC that you really love. That's your nephew. Andy, put up a picture of Amy's Ethan. Behold, this is my nephew, which is also weird because I voice his dad, so also technically still my son. What have I done? Let me slip into something more comfortable. Downscales into 4080p. This is just me taking off my glasses. I'm reminded almost daily about how glad I am that Redditors remain out of positions of power and decision making. Far more upsetting, though, is the fact that the world seems to be run by Twitter users. Sometimes I think, thank God, Tumblr follower count is hidden. People over Twitter let the numbers go to their heads so much. Also, Tumblr numbers mean nothing considering the amount of bot followers. Even funnier when someone on Tumblr expects you to treat them as royalty for having a lot of followers like they are not also a Tumblr user. If you brag about your follower count here, it's like announcing your own clown shoe size. One time I dreamt my therapist was following me around at work, constantly interrupting me, trying to get me to talk to her. But how did that make you feel? Undertale of you where everything is the same except everyone swears like a sailor. Isn't that just Underfell? I'm pretty sure that's just Underfell. Alright, I'm saying it! Barry B. Benson is a Jerry Seinfeld Mary Sue self-insert. Even as a kid, I got the feeling Barry got the human girl because the director was the main character. Fuck! Recent studies have shown that in order to make room for learning spells, wizards will willingly give up the part of their brain where they learn from the consequences of their actions. <laughs> Magic me brain go brr. I think a lot about gaining weight as a form of healing. Character. Gets a little bit fat after a life of hardships. Me. Groundbreaking. Incredible. Life-changing. Kyle Gallen, I like your moxie. This is good for my brain, thank you. Ties a balloon to Snom. Look, you're flying! I have once again taken to the- Hang on, this is too high! Get me down! Get me down! Okay, I'm just gonna say it. <sighs> Uptown Funk would have made it into the Shrek soundtrack. That's... That's the truest statement I ever read. Just found out there are two bones in my shin and two shins on my body. That's four bones. Fuck this shit. Dude, that's not even the worst of it. Go look up what your ribs are made of. Okay, I will, but I'm warning you, if it's bones, I'm gonna be so pissed off. God damn it! A name is a spell you cast on your child when they're born. I cast Get Bullied in Middle School. Power word. Melvin. Today Papa John's called my Starbucks and... <laughs> Starbucks? Starbucks! Anyway. <clears throat> Today Papa John's called my Starbucks and they were like, Are you guys interested in a trade? And five Frappuccinos later, they gave us two large pizzas and a large order of cheesy bread. Okay, but this seems adorable to me. This is what my coffee shop does with the subway next door. One large latte equals one six-inch sandwich. We trade at noon and 7 p.m. This is how the world should run. How fucked up would it be if you jumped in a ball pit and it was just tomatoes painted different colors? Dashcon 2, I've got an idea for you. 
Seeing teens call 20-somethings old as a gotcha is so funny to me. Like, you are priming yourself for one hell of an existential crisis in five years. I laugh at 30. Oh God, I'm fucking old as fuck now. Fuck! My blog aesthetic doesn't have a name. It's just me walking around picking up pebbles like, Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. Ooh, this one's pretty. There should be a heart key on the keyboard. You're absolutely right. Andy, put up the heart key button. Now spam it. Spam this ending full of hearts. Just do it. Do it. Hit it like it's the muffin button. Just do it. Oh my God, look at all these hearts. It's taking over the video. I would laugh if you just did nothing. Human, what is this thing your medical books refer to as adrenaline? Oh, that. It's a drug our body produces and injects into our bloodstream whenever we're in danger or pain. And what does it do? Speeds up our everything and makes us feel good. Everything makes so much sense now! <sighs> you created a horror movie called Alien. Yeah. That is damn well offensive. No wonder no other life forms want to contact you. It wasn't even accurate! So how long do you humans live? Uh, it depends on a lot of actors. Oldest person ever made it to 122 years. And the others? For most of our history, you were dead by 50. Did you change your genetics? No. Was it a decrease in... Yeah, it was mostly a decrease in diseases. Ugh. We also spend a third of our lives unconscious. What? It's our favorite part. Why do you choose to live in such inhospital climates? Remind me how you got to this planet? Well, we just built a ship that allowed us to travel through the vacuum of space. And how many of your kind died before you were able to safely travel through space? I see your point. Human, what is spam? Spam the meat, spam the junk mail, or spam the Monty Python's flying circus sketch? I beg your pardon? They're all related. Surprise me. Human, you seem tense. What is the matter? I'm worried about my cousin. He's going to have surgery later this week. Oh, how awful for him. But what is the purpose for this procedure? Well, he's getting a kidney transplant. He's been needing it for a while, but now he's finally got a donor. Hold on. Transplant? The donor? Yeah, one of his kidneys is being replaced. Ah, cybernetic enhancement. C crude, but effective. Cybernetic? Oh, <laughs> no, he's getting an actual kidney. Uh, an actual kidney? Oh, I hadn't realized humans were capable of creating one. Perhaps you are more advanced than I had initially assumed. No, we don't create it either. It came from another person. Wait, what? You, well, you see, if you're an organ donor, your organs will be used to help other people when you die. You mean you tell me that humans willingly have their organs harvested after death to be used as spare parts? I, yeah, I guess so. And this actually works. Kind of? Right, okay. I see what's going on here. Let's all joyfully vocalize at the alien. Nice try, human. Oh, spirits, you're serious. What are these sour cream and onion chips I found in your pantry? Oh, those are basically sliced potatoes that we fry to a crisp. Those in particular are just flavored with a couple of other foods. Fascinating. May I try some? Sure, but I do warn you though, they're highly addictive. They're good, right? I finally see humanity's desire to steal. So, you feed yeast organisms sugar and then bake them alive in temperatures high enough to kill someone and then eat them? Yes! So you explain that humans chased after things in the beginning until they're too tired and kill them. But another human informed me that is called teaming. Can you explain this? Oh, teaming is when two people on opposite teams team up to kill everyone. So you actively betray others and work with them and kill others? Yes. Barbarians, I know. Good, you understand. Human, why are you pressing buttons on your computer? You're just looking at a picture. Oh, no, this is a video game. It's a form of entertainment that humans use to enjoy themselves. What are you enjoying then? It's called Minecraft. Here, let me show you. Five months later. Uh, dude, Nerva, where are you? I beat the game and built a machine that functioned as one of my species' war fleets. Would you like to see? 
Nice. Human, I recently learned of a video game franchise called Destroy All Humans. E yeah? I am disappointed that you believe that extraterrestrial life would behave in such a manner. Don't look up Doom then. You're not gonna like it. Human, why are you staring at that photograph? And what are those circular objects in your hand? Uh, it's my wife. And these are rings that are used to signify our love for each other is lasting. So why hold them both? Well, my wife, Sarah, died a few years ago due to a head-on collision. And I hold on to these rings because she was special to me. You humans are truly a confusing but fascinating species. And those were my final notes on humanity. It's been quite the couple of years, but I've decided it was time for me to go. I think I've learned more than enough about them. And besides, I ran into a few good friends that are not of that world either. I think they'll keep it in good hands as well. Thank you all for listening. I apologize that this is the last of our conversations with each other. But as humans say, don't be sad that it's gone. Be happy that it happened. Thank you all for being here and being the weird, absurd, heartwarming space orcs that you are. Um, actually, all of my systems are nervous. <laughs> oh, dear. Behold a healthy breakfast of yogurt, peach, and apple disguised as eggs and fries. Do this to me and I will kill you. Bill Gates makes windows instead of gates. What? What is it about rain that makes worms go absolutely Buck wild for pavement. Uh, if you must know, that's their dance club. My friend texted this to me and said she couldn't tell if this was a drink or drain cleaner. It's giving me such mixed messages. Like it says non toxic and industrial strength, but also no sugar and gluten free? The drink of all time. Don't you see? It says multi purpose because it's both a drink and drain cleaner. Guys. It's sparkling water. I, I, what? I really need Elon Musk to change his company name. Tesla doesn't deserve to be remembered this way. Yeah, I agree, but also at the same time, he'd probably go with his last name, and I don't want to pick up any sort of electric product that says Musk. I want to be a bartender, so whenever someone orders a Bloody Mary, I can pretend I didn't hear them and ask him to repeat it a couple of times, and by the way, keep a big mirror behind me like in those old West films. <laughs> Just to watch some magic happen. <laughs> Do you ever have the urge to tell someone to shut the fuck up even when they aren't talking? You ever just check how much time there's left on an episode just to make sure they won't stop there? Uh, yeah, fucking... Bojack did that to me a lot. The 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s seem to have all separate unique personalities, but these last 17 years seem to just be one big chunk of time that has no significant meaning. Finally, someone said it! These last 17 years have an oh no feel that gets bigger and louder with each consecutive year. Until eventually, by year the 25th year, you'll just hear one giant oh yeah! Home is where you fully understand how the shower works. <laughs> if that's not the biggest mood, I don't know what is. I never speak a sentence without saying actually, genuinely, seriously, or literally, because I need everyone to know how sincere I am about the bullshit that comes out of my mouth. Yep. My main method for making friends has always been one, make one friend. Two, hope that this friend has other friends. And three, hope that these friends accept you as friend one sidekick and tolerate you long enough to bond. Alternatively, you can be the Roomba. You can be that awkward little robot that no one understands, and everyone slowly becomes attached to you because you're always there, and it's wrong when you're not. And you can let people strap knives to you. Siblings can be a pain. Until you're crawling around shirtless and blind at 11.02 at night and they come to help you. There's certainly a story there.
That feel when you're on mobile and you have to work hard against autocorrect to keep your lowercase aesthetic. Trademark. Look, I have no problem drinking water, but I do have a problem getting up to pee when I'm already comfy. Especially when I'm going to bed. Do you have any idea how f fucking infuriating that is? Please. Please stop posting bullshit. Are you new here? <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Hey guys, I'm gonna take a quick nap. Like, wake me up in like five minutes so I can take out the trash. Got her, it's been five minutes! <laughs> Got her, the trash! <laughs> the threat level is currently at Hooten. But if present trends continue, then it may progress to hollering at any moment! Concept. A fantasy cowboy who rides a dragon instead of a horse. Dragon riders are actually just fantasy cowboys. You heard it here first. Uh, how do you train your dragon? Do you just want the password to my blog while you're at it with these god tier takes? Her bad at all. If you were a gifted, talented child that grew up in an anxious adult with fragile self-worth and a perfection streak that makes you abandon things, if you're not good at them, immediately clap your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, cool bell, dude. Who's it told for? Oh, oh man. Th th this is awkward. This entire website is like watching a bunch of people trying to learn to walk, and every now and then you see two people doing front flips in the comments. Well, yeah. I just think that unhinged female characters with little blood on their face and wrath in their eyes is pretty neat. That, that, that That's all. That's all. Due to Corona, we have three days of the week now. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. This is just what having ADHD is like. And here's the really important fourth day. The day of the appointment. No one knows how far away it is, but it exists. Looming in the background. Waiting to strike. Imagine this magical book that the instant you touched it, it can sense what book you need at the moment, and it becomes that book. No more reading slumps! My jaw literally just dropped in awe. This is the best idea ever! The Book of Requirement. Yo, pickpocketed your mom the other day, and she had a picture of someone else's kid in her wallet, but not you. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Shut up! So I found these in my friend's freezer while having a sleepover, and became extremely scared. When I went to confront her about it, she looked me dead in the eye and whispered, Ice, ice, baby. Fuck, that's a good joke! I always hated those Among Us characters. I never thought my mother's spirit would transform me into one. Neon Genesis Evangelion. What the fuck is Neon Genesis Evangelion about? <laughs> Where do we even begin? Me in real life. No one can ever know this secret. Me to 8,000 strangers online. You guys will never believe this. Hey, every single one of you, every single one of you is valid. <laughs> Thanks, boss. <sighs> Sorry for being a dark sorcerer. As if it's my fault. Real gamers are too lazy to play games. Real gamers have depression. Real gamers just watch a playthrough on YouTube. <laughs> What's so hard about using someone else's shower? I've never understood why people talk about how confusing it is to use a shower that isn't yours. Like, come on! If all else fails, you can just shove your hand through the wall and rip the pipes out to turn the water on! You're forbidden from using my shower. Ever. How to finish your work in progress really fast. 1. Stop scrolling through Tumblr. 2. Turn on your laptop. 3. Open a Google Doc. 4. Fucking right! Instructions unclear, I'm now cleaning the oven. This, this didn't work. So Neil, is Good Omens 2 just an excuse to find increasingly elaborate ways to set David Tennant on fire? Obviously. This close to putting hot sauce on my toes! I... I forgot to give context for this. What context could you possibly give that would make this any better? My cat's biscuits and gravy are aggressive toe biters, and they will stop at nothing to obtain the experience of feet in their mouth. And then you find out that Biscuit's like, Joke's on you! I'm into that shit! Me then, young, naive. I don't swear because there are better choices to make with my vocabulary. 
me now, older, wiser. I am master of all words, and fuck is the best one! She's terrified of watermarks. I would be too if I saw them in my green pile. Oh shit, watermarks in the green pile? This is a hollering! I repeat, this is a hollering! Baby girl, I'm deficient in vitamins scientists haven't even discovered yet. <laughs> Can you pick my arm off the ground? It seems to have fallen. Today I learned caffeine doesn't actually give you energy. It blocks the receptors in your brain that make you feel tired. Just like the difference between adding two and subtracting negative two to me. Mm, drink caffeine to make your brain temporarily apathetic to your body's needs. Caffeine doesn't fill your patrol tank. It just sticks a piece of tape over the gauge telling you your tank is empty. <sighs> I feel like... I feel like my whole life has been lied to. Andy, give me the big boy mug and some Death Wish coffee before I cry. <laughs> You've heard of cucumber, now get ready for cucumber. God Grant me the strength to send this email, the courage to send this email, and the wisdom to send this email. Yo, why are you reciting the Triforce? How else am I supposed to send this email? Mood. Hi, I learned Barbie cosplay Gladys. Okay, but Valve probably had to officially give Mattel permission to do this, which means Barbie is canonically the closest thing we have to canon Android Gladys design. What? Simulation of monkey touching button. Boop. Simulation complete. <laughs> Got him. That's interesting because I walked through the valley of the shadow of the death and no one knew you there? D sh shut your mouth! You shut your pig mouth, you mook! I don't flirt. I just talk. It's not my fault everything I say is smoother than the cream cheese spread on your bagel. <laughs> this is what happens when Andy talks. If I learned anything from video games is that when you meet enemies, it means that you're going in the right direction. That's really inspiring. Except when it's Dark Souls. They're just everywhere. Fuck them. Y'all heard of Faithful Translations, now get ready for Unfaithful Translations, where I make my translations say whatever the fuck I want because I think the source material sucks ass. Ghost stories. Just... Just go watch it. I'm sick of people ragging on plague doctors. They did their best against a disease that makes your skin vomit shit, armed with only Greek textbooks, translated into Old High German from grammar school Latin, from stilted Hebrew, from Berberized Arabic by a monk with boils for eyes. We have nanotechnology and satellites, and we're getting fucked to death by a mediocre flu. Bring back plague doctors. Me when I'm working on something. Oh, I am so fucking genius. Me looking at the completed work. Absolute fucking garbage. Who allowed my hands to make this? Me coming up with concepts and ideas. This is so fucking good, what the fuck? Me actually having to work on it. What kind of fucking bullshit? <clears throat> and yeah, I'm gonna need glitter and sparkles for this one. Hate it. It would be so nice to be in an apartment right now with really big open windows and lots of bright light pouring in and, and long curtains and the smell of rain floating through it. The millennial generation is so broke we're romanticizing decent housing. I went to a clown hatchery in Madison today and oh my fucking god there must have been at least 10,000 clowns there. It was incredible. The breeder told me he's been operational for eight years now. It's <laughs> the new morphs he's working with are amazing. With the regular white orange and snowflakes, he's working with something that gives them a blue toad and they're gorgeous. I read this like ten times before I realized you were talking about fish. What if they weren't, though? The only reason there are pyramids in Egypt <laughs> is because they're too heavy to be carried to the British Museum. Jeff, this isn't a joke. This is legitimately true. Here's my gender. I'm too scared to look at it more closely and determine what's going on in there. Please, please, please don't pet it. It bites. Girl, what the fuck is even the theme of Midsummer Night's Dreams? Is there even a lesson to be learned? Is it just vibes or what? Puck at the end of the play. God, did you see that? Insane, right? <laughs> all right, take it easy. I'll see you all later. Wait, wait, Puck! Come back! I have questions! Writing prompt. Your friend requested to be buried with his headset and system. He just came online. 
I can't believe I have to carry you fuckers from beyond the grave. This is the plot of Blood Gulch Chronicles. Where'd you carry us? To the buffet? And finally... Melancholy. <laughs> no, Zelda was the scientist. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. A little girl who grows up thinking all doors are automatic, but actually she's haunted by a really polite ghost. <gasps> so chivalry is dead. You win best response to this post. It's so dumb that broad shoulders are considered unattractive in a woman just because the ideal of womanhood is based on the perceived fragility of a smaller frame. Have you ever seen a woman with broad shoulders? Looks like she was sculpted by the gods themselves. You're absolutely right. Andy put up a picture of Zarya from Overwatch. Look at her. Absolutely beautiful. My favorite ship dynamic is they're both extremely stupid in completely different ways and extremely smart in completely different ways. But really is any of that useful because they just get extra double stupid when together. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if girls use the same style of joke to degrade men like, Cool story, bro, now go chop some lumber. <laughs> go chop some lumber. <laughs> what are you doing out of the garage? Go fix my car. The grill isn't going to light itself. Don't you have something to fix somewhere? Listen, it's 2018. We need to stop blaming serotonin and dopamine and start blaming the real culprit, which is the hippocampus, that son of a bitch. Three years later, it's 2021. We need to stop always blaming our neurochemical functions and start blaming the real culprit, which is of our inherently flawed society that prioritizes greed of the few over the needs of the many, which enables mental illness to flourish without the ability to receive treatment. That son of a bitch. Hmm. Hashtag character development. Today I learned Claudius was the first of 15 Roman emperors to not have any male lovers. People thought it was strange that he was only attracted to women. It is strange. It's fucking weird is what it is. As an artist, I like to think I know when things look sketchy. As a musician, I like to think I know when things sound off. As a math enjoyer, I like to think I know when things don't add up. As a writer, I... Fuck it! Be creative. Even if you never really make anything. Write out plot synopses of stories and then move on. Design OCs you'll never use. Make mood boards and concept art and don't do anything with them. Life's too short to forget everything that inspired you and creation doesn't have to be complete to be worth the time you put into it. Just make shit that makes you happy. Don't have to finish shit. All right? That cool advice from Dark Souls. Age only affects appearance and has no bearing on ability. Gender has no bearing on ability. Everyone has imperfections. Prejudice births malcontents. Become a dark spirit. Time for crab. Screaming and crying because I'll never actually know what people in history's voices sounded like. I think about that a lot, actually. Like, what if... <laughs> what if George Washington sounded like Danny DeVito? <laughs> There's no way to not prove it. Mario says, Blind nationalism, in this case of glorifying the national anthem, is remaining willfully ignorant of the systematic equality that this country still faces. That's why people kneel. Luigi says, Lamal, why the fuck would you stand for the anthem? It doesn't even slap. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Wrong, your honor. As a necromancer, I literally summon my first witness. The victim. One time I dreamt in an official statement the band 21 Pilots revealed that they would be changing their names to 20 Oon Pilots. <laughs> you guys ever have a thing called dream envy? Yesterday night a lady came through our drive-thru and was like, The way the planets are aligning and the fact that we're getting a blood moon has me worried. I sense severe werewolf activities on the horizon. You better walk your co-worker to her car tonight after you've closed. And I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, yes ma'am. You heard that and just went end to dialogue. You fool. She's the werewolf. She's luring you into a trap. Stay inside the building. You're gay. What about my gay? It's off its leash and now is redecorating my living room. Please take it back. Damn it, gay, come back here. Went to the thrift store today and there were so many textures there. Affectionate and derogatory. Me touching a shirt. <laughs> texture. Me touching a different shirt. Oh no, texture! I see this in my peripheral vision at all times. One day you smash a cockroach and it starts saying, one of two. Uh, 
Oh god, dude, don't don't look at me yet, dude. I'm, I'm still rendering. Me transitioning. I am writing all the time, except just like inside of me and not outside. Shut up. Yahoo answers, how do I achieve immortality? Don't die. An old English word for library was bookhoard, which literally means book hoard. And honestly, I really think we should go back to saying that. Because not only does it sound really cool, but it also sort of implies that librarians are dragons? D d d Dungeon masters, use this idea! Whilst you were exploring each other's bodies, I was exploring the catacombs. <laughs> <laughs> I am lost in the catacombs. People want to complain that Horace Slughorn wasn't a well-written Slytherin. But trashing your house, faking your death, and transfiguring yourself into an armchair to avoid an uncomfortable conversation is about as Slytherin as it gets. It wasn't even his house. Even more Slytherin! Science side of Tumblr, explain why the ride home always takes less time. The ride home takes less time because you already have memories of the locations you passed on the way there. When you take in a new memory, your brain slows down to process it and write as much information as possible. When you've already experienced something, it doesn't have as much to remember. Oh my god, are you Al Herwinstons? Shapeshifting is the best superpower. Because you can have any haircut anytime you want, you can turn into a hotter version of yourself, you can turn into a dragon, you can turn into a robot, you can transform into a shambling mound of abstract shapes, and soak outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins! This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. There's something oddly poetic about killing something that bleeds blood that belonged to you. Huh? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. I smacked a mosquito. My dad kept having trouble with my pronouns, they, them, so I told him to pretend I was a swarm of bees, and it somehow helped. The NB in non-binary actually stands for numerous bees. Bees indeed. <laughs> Andy, summon the bees! Bees? You want bees? Bees! <laughs> Ironic that Bilbo was so annoyed with the Sackville Bagginses for stealing from him and trying to evict him from his house, when his whole adventure involves stealing from someone and evicting them from their house. To be fair, he was essentially helping someone get rid of their own Sackville Bagginses. This is an absolutely world-rocking take on narrative parallels in The Hobbit. Like, why, yes, those were equally petty property disputes, and your point? Hey, uh, can I get, a uh, ingredients on my burger? Beetroot? You want beetroot? You want fucking beetroot? <laughs> ingredients. Date of origin, December 29th, 2016. Fuck, that's old. Nobody look at me, I'm an idiot. I'm the smartest person alive! Nope, 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 I'm dumb as fuck. I am a beacon of knowledge! I'm sorry, did you mean, uh, world-renowned Game Grumps or Arnold Hansen right there, that guy? Didn't anticipate one of the bonuses of going to a drag show in a smaller, more conservative town would be getting to see a bro who clearly wandered into the wrong part of the bar by mistake experience what looked to be a transcendent awakening upon his first drag show. One of the queens halfway through the show. Honey, are you straight? This man in a strangled voice. I don't know. It do be like that. Evil fonts. Helvetica. Crimes New Roman. Impact Fatal. Malibri. Ariel. Why the fuck do people have to yell at sports on the TV? I don't want to hear it ever again. Hey, hey, hey! I have to let the sportsmen know what to do. They are lost without my guiding hand. The tiny men on the TV run for my enjoyment. The least I can do is be a leader for them. Imagine just straight up having a mental breakdown or something, and PM Seymour's just like, Hey, that blog's in my video. Well, guess what, bitch? Ugh. <sighs> Obsessed with bed. I love bed. Obsessed with pillows, blankets, and such. <sighs> Literally less sleeping. Oh, oh, right, uh, video, I forgot about that. Do you know what I want in life? A giant kitchen with lots of natural light, every utensil and appliance imaginable, and an endless supply of groceries, and also some sweet potato fries.
In Japanese, they don't say moon, they say suki, which literally translates to moon. And I think that's how language works. <laughs> I get what they're making fun of. Literally, what is the logic behind naps leaving you with a weird taste in your mouth? I wasn't eating anything while I was asleep. It's the spiders, isn't it? This is my favorite clickbait about hackers picture. Ah, me when I remember my password in my own mind. How do draw good? Fail 14 sketchbook. Bad stuff is good stuff because you make stuff. Do you like sparkle? Draw sparkle. Draw and make your heart do smiley emote. Remember to drink lots of agua or else bedtime. Don't stress, friend, all is well. Your art is hot like potato crisps. Don't let anyone piss on your good mood, amigo. If they do, eat them. Okay. I think the reason I enjoy Ghibli so much is it romanticizes the little things. It makes me want to bake, study, clean the house, garden, and more while listening to happy music and occasionally picking wildflowers and lying in the grass. It helps me find joy in day-to-day -day life and honestly, so important for my mental health. Hayao Miyazaki has said on numerous occasions that he wants children to know that even when the world seems harsh and life is hard, it is always still worth living and there's always something beautiful in it. That mental health boost is intentional, and Miyazaki wants you to believe that you should continue to live, even if it's just for those little things. That's beautiful. Meanwhile, there's another Miyazaki who kind of tries to do the same message, but um, you get a lot of this. Andy put up a lot of segments of you died sequences in Dark Souls. Do it. You bastard! Ah. Uh... No! <laughs> Fucking crap, really! I know approximately zero about Delta Rune, but based on the memes I keep seeing, the crocodile one should stop letting the blue one use the GPS. I have no idea what's happening. At this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Nothing like stepping outside while the seasons are changing and suddenly feeling a change in the weather that knocks you back in time by several years. I'm sorry, Professor, I'm gonna have to miss class today because when I walked outside this morning, it was cold and sunny in a very specific way, and suddenly I was struck with a nostalgia for years past so vivid and potent that I had to sit down. Understandable. Have a nice day. Mmm. Honey as a tea sweetener is so superior to sugar. The nectar of the gods and whatnot. When you add honey to tea, it's an ancient civilization's moment. When you add sugar cube to tea, it's a British dude with a white curly wig moment. Does anyone else get what I mean? I, I, don't, I don't have a clue. Andy, do you follow this one? When you lift your napkin up to dab. Remember when Colgate sent out cease and desist letters to 13 year old kids because they were making YouTube poops with one very specific video about a rabbit who teaches children how to keep their teeth clean? Remember when Walrus Guy actually got a lawyer and took it to court and got it proven in a court of law that it was completely legal to make YouTube poops of Dr. Rabbit? He did what? And people say YouTube poop isn't a legitimate art form. Boggle. Told my friend that I hope this burrito was good, whatever that means, because I don't like burritos, and he told me, A good burrito should feel like a mistake. And I feel like that is way more fucking raw than it has any right to be. And of course his name is Josh, too. If I was a video game NPC, I'd be called something like Weird Looking Guy or Unfortunate Beast. And I'd be so hot and lovable and everyone would want me. I oh, yeah, sure do love this feudal era Pokemon game with the wood latch Pokeballs, steamboats, ancient scrolls, and smartphones. Also in before somebody says, um, actually it's the Meiji Restoration. I get it. I'm really into internet discourse, but only pointless and stupid internet discourse. Like how many holes there are in a straw. It's two. Um, no, it's an infinite amount of holes stacked on top of each other. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, <laughs> what do you call the security guards outside Samson shops? <sighs> what? Guardians of the Galaxy? Get out! Wow, you blocked me just because I disagreed with you? Yes, yes, exactly. This is a social media site. I come here to look at pictures of birds and shit posts with my friends. This is not a town hall meeting. I'm not your elected official. I do not owe you my energy, my space, or my time. You and I are strangers that use the same website. I can block you for literally any reason, and that's okay. Take a deep breath. Block me too. You'll feel better. Do it. You may think this song sounds bad, but according to music theory, which I've spent 18 years studying at, shut up. Shut up. I don't care. 
I know noises, idiot. I don't have to study to understand noises. I've known them forever. And those noises right there, not that good. When did we first discover the concept of glasses? Like, was an Egyptian pharaoh walking around in his jewel room and put two crystals to his eye and was like, Yo, Nithotep, come look at this! I love Queen because half their songs are mind-blowing pieces about life and death and love and humanity's inability to live together without destroying ourselves. And the other half are like, I love my bike. Actually, there's a third kind, and it's called, I'm Freddie Mercury, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yeah, that sounds about right. I was out with a bunch of people this weekend, and this guy suddenly went, oh, man, I miss my wife, and went home. Like, I want that. I hope you like repairmen with digestive problems. I'll test the toilet now. I don't, and you shall not. So there was a lizard in my shower, so I said hello to it, and the person showering next to me was like, hi. I wasn't sure whether to carry on the conversation or be like, sorry, I was talking to a lizard. It should be my birthday every day. You would be very old. Oh, what a rude thing to say to someone on their birthday. Believe the audacity of this man? Y'all ever sleep from 1700 to 2200 and call it a nap because... I thought this was about years, but yes. Ah, nothing says self-care like a 500-year-long nap. Sounds good right now, actually. That's on. Nah, that's off. Just how I like it. I just saw someone come into shoppers and ask if they sold serotonin. And if that isn't the biggest mood, I don't know what is. He was an older guy, so he probably didn't know what serotonin was. Still a mood, though. Do it. I checked this blog to see what other suggestions there were, and there were none. And now that I look at it closer, the URL does say suggestion, singular. So I don't know what I expected. Guys, quick, let's go set up a spirit Halloween in the empty Facebook. If ton... Tumblr, 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 ever goes down, I will just write my post down and mail them to all of my mutuals. Yeah, if Tumblr ever does die, you can just do that for me, guys. The crunch of a folded kettle cooked chip. That does sound mildly pleasant. Andy, give them what they want. Just watch me. Pat, I'll write Tumblr posts with my right hand and post memes with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Love the adrenaline rush of making plans and following through on them. I said I was going to go to the mall today, and here I am. Who knows what I'll do next? Infinite possibilities! Is this what people without executive dysfunction feel like? The weather is a little bit gloomy. Me and the mutuals chanting, Soup, 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 soup. Andy Joy. My old man once said to me, Your thoughts are so random and unconnected. We were just talking about the carnival. How did you get started on wasps? So I told him, They're not unconnected. We were talking about going to the carnival. And the carnival is on the same fairgrounds they used to use for the rodeo. And one time at the rodeo, my brother spilled Sprite on himself, and a bee went up his shirt and stung him. And bees die when they sting, but wasps don't. And I was wondering why. So I asked you. And he said, That makes no sense. And for the life of me, I can't understand how anyone thinks of anything if not by this exact process. Oh god. It's not just me? These are the four types of non-binary people. Oh yes. Neutral gender. Neutral presentation. Femaline gender. Masculine presentation. Masculine gender. Femaline presentation. And Lancer. Here's the thing. We all agree that Jack Black is an amazing fit for Bowser. Charlie Day has voice acted before in the Lego movie as a very well-received and distinct character, so he could probably do well as Luigi. Peach's voice, not to insult Samantha Kelly, is incredibly generic, so Anya Taylor-Joy can probably nail it. You're fooling yourself if you think Keegan-Michael Key can't do a great Toad voice. Hell, even Seth Rogen, as washed up and exhausting as he is, can probably do a sufficient enough voice for Donkey Kong. It's literally just Chris Pratt. And nobody has any faith in his voice acting abilities because literally every character he plays since 2014 has been Chris Pratt but X. Even in the Lego movie, his character was a generic milk toast dude made out of Lego, AKA Chris Pratt but Lego. Chris Pratt is the original Sonic movie design of the Mario film in that he will single 
single-handedly drag the film down to hell. And the only way to save it is to completely excise him from the movie. There, I just saved you 14 fucking video essays on why the Super Mario movie might go down badly. All right! Yes, I know I'm a hypocrite because I use Apple and Google products and they're spying on me completely anyways, but there's something about Alexa that viscerally disgusts me and feels like a bridge too far. And I'll tell you why. She has a normal ass name. I don't know many people named Siri. I don't know anybody who would name their child Google. I know four Alexas. So, that's probably why. If there's a heaven's no and a hell yes, why isn't there a purgatory maybe? Mmm, perhaps. When will Ted himself finally show up to the talk? The final boss. You guys know TED Talk stands for Technology, Entertainment, and Design Talks, right? I will not let Ted hide behind these lies any longer. Reveal himself to me! I just came up with a horrible drawing game. First artist draws a human OC. Second artist draws that OC's persona. Third artist draws a humanized version of that persona without seeing the original OC. Fourth artist draws a persona for that character. And so on and so forth. Also known as telephone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Auntie, I know what we need to do for next Gartic phone game. Today I learned that the count in Sesame Street does not count all the time to teach children numbers. In folklore, vampires have erythromania, or an obsession with numbers. This derives from the old superstition that throwing poppy seeds on the ground stopped vampires because they had to count them all first. I like the poster's implications that the producers of Sesame Street did not put a counting vampiric count on a children's educational series to teach kids how to count. This was just an incidental side effect of their fidelity to obscure vampire folklore. I mean, it could be. Homies, is it gay to turn on notifications for your mutuals? How weird is it that I have two pieces of glass sitting in front of my eyeball so I don't mistake a small child for a garbage can? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. There's Christmas adverts already? Get spooky or get the fuck out! It's Halloween! I don't know what Batman villain needs to hear this, but your theme is unique and creative. Your puns and gimmicks are witty, your costume is cool and fashionable, and you do have a chance at defeating the Batman. You are valued and an important Gotham citizen. Mwah! I love you. A guy walks in with two puncture wounds on his neck and like, you should see the other guy. And then a vampire walks in covered in those cartoony lipstick kiss marks. Oh! Someone, wow, you're so easy to talk to. I feel like our personalities fit so well together. Me. Thanks. I made this one special just for you. Running up the hill to make a deal with God again. Anyone need anything? Radio is kind of wild, really. The first thing we did after discovering an ethereal field that permeates the universe is <laughs> infuse it with music. That's pretty on brand for humans, really. Our social media is down again, except for Tumblr. A cockroach will survive a nuclear bomb. Just saying. If she's your girl, why is she tormenting me with visions? If she's your girl, can you ask her to stop, please? I love being sober and talking to drunk people at parties, because I asked a guy, if you were a wizard, what kind of spells would you cast? And I know he wasn't lying when he said, Summon creatures. What kind of creatures? Oh. I wish they had made Breaking Bad earlier, so it would have had a PS2 game. Jesse, you need to press square, square, X, triangle, circle, X to cook the meth. This is a Parappa the Rapper game? Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. Cut the meth. Don't forget the bag. Liking The Office is not a personality trait, but saying liking The Office is not a personality trait is also not a personality trait. What well, is a personality trait? Eating sponges. It's like, that's his truck and he's ordering from a drive-thru at 12 a.m. Mmm, chicken sandwich and scratch my butt, please. <laughs> not to scare anyone. But what the hell does Beyond and Bed Bath and Beyond stand for? Me. What's Beyond? Employee snaps my neck. Go find out. As a former Bed Bath and Beyond employee, I appreciate this. Yeah, what the hell and fuck are you implying, lady? See you and I. We're like SpongeBob and Patrice. Gay. That's his snail. Lefties on ketamine, right toids on ivermectin. Who knows how many more drugs Big Horse is hiding from us? I don't know what drugs, but I have a hunch. Big horse is hiding something. Maybe soldiers? 
Maybe Greek soldiers. I don't know. Just a thought. The fuck are you on about? There's nothing inside of that horse. Let's bring it inside the city walls. It's perfectly fine. Gonna say something controversial? And it's that carrot cake is fucking delicious and probably the best cake flavor. Can I get a hallelujah? It is fucking critical that Gen Z kids rediscover the idea of posers. Posers and sellouts. And this isn't about children being fake fans or whatever. This is about influencers trying to grab at your money through pretending to be part of a subculture. Yeah. Have any of you ever seen, like, a third grader? I can't believe they make people that small. <laughs> Oh, just wait till you see the next size down. Yes, that's right. There's people smaller than third graders. It's insane. My favorite tease is, okay, noun boy. It's just so good. Okay, noun boy. <laughs> you know, horses are very talented at making their problems your problems. It's true. I think Netflix had a show about it. I think it was called... Bojangles horse my dudes. Hey, did you know gallbladders are really cool? Yeah, I took my dates. I mean, he got it removed at the hospital. Sure he did. The worst is when you're reading a really good book that follows multiple character stories and you love it 90% of the time until it periodically switches back to that one character story that you could not just care less about. And it's like an entire chapter of internal groaning while waiting for the plot to switch back to a character you actually care about. Yeah. Oh yes, my favorite Deltarune character. I am also a fan of meat substitute weight. <sighs> it's been a long day. Alfred, please fill up the bathtub. Master Bruce, what's a hatub? This is so unfunny that I actually laughed. Good job. Hey, keep your head up, fellow wizard. It's incantation, not incantation. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Honestly, Frodo's journey is so wild. Like, imagine your uncle goes missing after his birthday party and his old stoner friend from out of town tells you that the souvenir he brought back from Vegas trip 80 years ago is actually Satan's mood ring, and now zombie assassins are coming to burn down your town unless you and your lawn guy meet up with medieval hosiers in a dark gastropub. You know, when you phrase it like that, it sounds like a Seth Rogen movie, and I just don't know how I feel about that. Are you a fab or a mab? I am a crab. Crap, 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 crap. Seems like you could just write essays on a lot of things today, Pucky. I could write a book about words I like and go into excruciating detail as to why I like each word. I'd call it word review and I'd give each word an entire page or more on a numbered score. That's this beautiful, man. I am a reverse hypochondriac. I just ignore everything. One time as a teen, I went blind for two minutes in public and I said nothing. Dudes, teach me. My aesthetic is students at the library who have all their study materials out, but are blatantly not studying. Bussers are creatures. They don't eat you because they love you. But they could, if they wanted to. Oh. <sighs> Mario is going to do the regular Mario. Here we go! Exactly once at the start of the movie before coughing violently and then apologizing in Chris Pratt's voice. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I didn't feel like there were enough posts for today's video, so I'm going to do what I did probably a couple of videos back. I'm going to just make noises. Andy, you do what you do best, you beautiful boy. it's always poor little meow meow or evil bastard or I can make him worse. What about men who are normal? What about men who pay taxes and are well-adjusted individuals and not at all insane? Okay, Tumblr, you're in prison, Hannibal. You clearly enjoy only the most hinged of men. I don't know if I can defend myself against this one.
picks that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Andy, what do you think? Did it hurt when the little people inside your head refused to follow your carefully plotted novel outline? Extremely. Go do the thing! A piece from Surplus Tension by Hannah Levy. Sentinels attached to entire bird legs, which could make getting around either really easy or really hard. I'm not sure. If I'm funny enough to end up in a PM Seymour VA video, then that means I'm worth something in life. All right, I'm going to stop you right there. Hold on. All right, Andy, just put, put the image away for a second. Let me talk to him. To Wool Jester and to everyone listening to this right now, you are all worth something. In fact, you all have so much value to yourselves and to people around you who love you. And you might sit here and think, there's nobody out here who could possibly love me, because I can already imagine somebody writing that comment right now just to be the outlier. Listen, you have value, you are loved, and you are important to somebody. Okay? Okay. Let's move on. It's touching moment. You know, a nap and a Snickers bar would have solved all of Anakin's problems, but instead, he chucked five Monster Energy drinks, blocked Obi-Wan's number, and let himself be bamboozled by the dark side. Well, if you did that, we wouldn't have gotten four, five, and six now, would we? I just woke up and, yeah, this isn't a morning app. I can't even read what you people are saying. Yeah, girl, did you get Swiss product appendages? See what I'm talking about? I think it's the universal truth that everyone in our generation takes Pluto's losing its planetary status as a personal offense. Yes! Pluto is smaller than Russia. Why did we ever even consider it a planet? Because it's part of our solar system! Ohana means family! Family means no one is left behind! Honey, I'm pregnant. Hello, pregnant. He whispers, tears of joys in his eyes. <sighs> I'm dad. How could something be so cute and make me want to vigorously bang my head against a wall at the same time? <laughs> oh my god. My friend asked me how I learned to cook, and the answer is, I didn't. I know like five things about cooking, and they are, always use more garlic than the recipe calls for, eh, fuck it close enough is a great measurement tool, find like five recipes that you like, adjust them how you like them, and make them until you hate them, clean as you go, and if a recipe is from a mommy blog, you will need more spices. If anyone wants to add, please do. None of these are wrong. I spent four years in college on this subject, and you know what? You're absolutely right. Why did I spend so much money? You can't play a plus two on a plus two. Thank you for the cards, but we'll take it from here. The only rules of Uno are what you can convince the rest of the tables the rules are. Is the world really such a terrible place? Yesterday, I asked if oat milk was extra, and the barista said yes. So I said, okay, just regular milk then. And when she gave me my chai latte, she whispered, I used oat milk. Doesn't that make you want to live another day? Here's my life philosophy. Next week, there might be someone ahead of you in line at the store who's short a quarter. And you have a quarter. And you can give it to them. If you weren't there, they'd have something to put back. The week after that, you could be getting lunch, and the waiter might ask if you want some pancakes someone else ordered and never picked up. You could find someone's lost cat. You could watch someone's bag while they go to the restroom. There are so many ways you're going to touch other people's lives, and they're going to touch yours, and there's no way to know when it's going to happen. So you have to keep living! I wouldn't want to die knowing that tomorrow the barista will give me free oat milk just to be nice. Isn't that just fucking beautiful? Yeah, when you see a good post, you can say, Hee-hoo! When you see a post is bad, the post is, Wow-woo. Wow-woo. Shut the fuck 